Your mornings will never be the same again. <laughs> Join Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagle as he delivers to us the preachings of the Sunday's Gospel that's awe-inspiring, yet easy to understand and appreciate. Let us all listen to the Word of God here on The Word Exposed on Air, only on Radyo Katipunan 87.9 FM. Radyo Katipunan 87.9 FM Rejoice, rejoice, refresh, renew, and reflect. Join us for an hour of music that uplifts the soul. Listen to your favorite Jesuit music ministry artists. This is JMM Radio. JMM Radio. Get your day's dose of inspirational music. Tune in to JMM Radio. Every Wednesday from 1 to 2 p.m. Only here on Radio Katipuna 87.9 FM. Three o'clock prayer. You died, Jesus, but the source of life flowed out for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fountain of life, immeasurable divine mercy, cover the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which flowed out from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Amen. Jesus, King of Mercy, we trust in you. Rajo, 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 Atinista, it's time to level up! Your top variety program showcasing the best in media and other fields as we feature the most loved personalities and the best practices of what we truly refer to as Magis. Together with multi-awarded multimedia guru Mr. Noel Ferrer, let's all level up every Fridays from 3 to 6 p.m. here on Radyo Katipunan, 87.9 FM. Alam ko na rin yung mga guests. May... Kaya mo na yan. I'll help you launch your own. No, have that for free TV, but you can have your own talk show. You can actually have your own talk show. Yeah. You, know, you know, Maricel Laksa, di ba? I... Kaya niya yun eh. Ikaw, you can have your uh -oh. own brand. Ang daming topics na pwede mong makover. Galing. Actually, I didn't, I, ako parang self-discovery sa akin tong show na to. Because, 
I'm learning as I as I go and I'm learning what my style is or what I want it to be. Yung ganun ba? And now there's wisdom so, when you share. Yun yung yun lang yung okay. Sandali so, are we on? <laughs> usap tayo nang usap dito. I don't know. <laughs> 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 ano? we? oh, we're live now we're live <laughs> anyway all good already all the best level up sa ganap level up sa saya mas daring mas naughty mas edgy level up din sa wawa gusto natin bago mag weekend break meron tayong magandang baon para sa bakasyon and as always we shall level up in terms of relevance and goodwill lahat ng kulay lahat ng opinion pwedeng palutangin and today still on women's month I have someone really really special to me a former student and a really good friend na lagi kong sinasabi sa kanya cargo ko siya sa Diyos. Yan, palagi ko siya pinagdadasal kahit malayo siya ngayon nasa Alabang na siya. Dati na sa Pasig lang. Uh, an outstanding and B-medaled Pasig pa rin kami! <laughs> ah, Pasig pa ulit. Okay. A well-respected actress and TV host now Real Talk on the Kapamilya platform and the first Filipina Asia, Asian woman in the International Olympic Committee Executive Board. Hanggang ngayon pa naman. Ito, mahaba yung pangalan niya. Alam ko to since sudyante siya. So, she's Mikaela Maria Antonia Mikey de los Reyes. Kawang ko. Jaworski, hello Mikey. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, finally, I'm here with you. Yes, yes. Sir Noel. Sir Noel. No, no, ganun, no, ganun. Um, we originally <laughs> intended this to be your birthday celebration kasi nga parang ang, ang hirap lang mag-celebrate sa quarantine. But of course, buti na lang um, pumasok dun sa, ano, dun sa Women's Month. So, Mike, when was the last time you visited Ateneo? So, this is your oh, reunion of sorts or homecoming of sorts. When? Um, of course. Of course, feeling ko nandun ako nung nag-homecoming, di ba? Yes, yes, nung December. Um, it's your batch, no? Nandun ako nung ano. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yes. It was a lot of fun. Uh, yes, yes. But I think I was there two years ago. Okay. Wow, two years na yun. Almost two years ago. Kasi, <laughs> Oo. kasi si Robbie, second year na Ayan sa atin na. eh. Oh. So, Iba na yung so mga concerns, di ba? Oo oh, nga. Oh. Alam mo, tatang na wala ako sa Ateneo. <laughs> <laughs> so, Robbie's your eldest. At sabi ko dyan, at uh, mamaya pag-usapan natin ng dynamics mo with the kids. Kasi sabi ko, si Robbie, ayan yung pwedeng mag-artista. Pero sabi mo, huwag muna, huwag mong sasabihin yan kasi we would want him to finish his school <laughs> first. Di ba? Yeah. Okay yun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, si Robbie po, at awal, tingnan nyo yan. Parang um, a really good mix of Mikey and Dodot. So, um, so it's that. So, two years ago in Ateneo, but then, well, of course, your batch um uh, had that reunion in December. Ano yung feeling? I was watching that. It was in the middle pa of the pandemic. At grabe yung challenge. Nakakaiya kasi parang, oh, parang it's really you wanting to like uh, contribute something to society in the end, di ba? Parang Christmas was different, very different, Mike. So um you also had, di ba, uh, may Zoom chat pa kayo ng batch. How was that? Touching base with your batchmates. Actually, it was it was really fun. It was well planned. Yung pag ano yung yung pagiging kasama ko doon as a host, medyo last minute 'yun kasi yung mga ibang batch mates ko that were in charge of the program. Parang one week before, mm-hmm. alam naman nila yung gusto nilang gawin pero parang hindi sila sigurado. So, uh, Mikey, can we get some ideas from you? Kami ni Nico, di ba? Yeah, yeah, can yeah, we get yeah. some ideas from you? So, sige, sama kami sa Zoom meeting nila. Biglang kami na yung host. So, <laughs> sabi namin, nang gabi yung mga corner, ha? Siyempre, hindi naman kami makanow, di ba? And then, Actually, I was nervous and excited kasi ang dami ko nang hindi, syempre, since college, I haven't yes, seen. And true. hindi That's naman true. dahil mag-batchmate kayo, magkakakilala kayong lahat, di ba? But true. it was so much fun because medyo sa end na rin kami eh. So nakita yes. na namin lahat ng, ng batches. And I think yes. it was it kind of forced to be more meaty, more That's substantial. True. Kasi ano gagawin mo sa Zoom screen pag nandun ka sa harap na That's wala true. ka namang masasabi? And the different batches, ang dami nang nakocontribute yes. even if they're overseas. Yes. Yes. Tapos yung mga iba, ilan na lang sila na active. Yes. But they're, 
we continue to contribute to the Ateneo community Amen. or through or as the Ateneo community. So, Amen. we're inspired siya. Kaya by the time na part na namin, iba na, iba na yung excitement. And the, yeah, ayun na nga, may big Zoom, tapos yeah. by batch, tapos yeah. by course. Ang ganda! Yung may ba to me, <laughs> Ang saya talaga, sobrang saya. Sobrang And saya. what was special is that, yung mga kaibigan mo nun, yan yung walang pakialam dun sa Mikey celebrity status, di ba? Yan yung, yan yung kilala ka at kasama kang um, nagpapahiram ng notes, di ba? Yan yung mga, yung mga... Yes. Oo, oh, eh. Iba yung... yung Ito ah, yung ba mapali- diba? Oo. Oh, oh. Hindi naman yung ganun kadami yung naging kaibigan ko in mm-hmm. college. Maraming kakilala, pero yung maraming kaibigan. Kasi marami ka naman, marami ako makakonsider na kaibigan, pero yung talagang sobrang close, mm-hmm. iilan lang. Totoo. Tsaka tatang kung pumasa ko sa Ateneo, mm-hmm. nag, uh, ano na yun, swatch. Very yes. fresh yes. yung yes. swatch. Kung yes. ano yes. iba na... Na normal sila sa akin pero hindi ko alam na iniisip na pala nila yung swatch yung ganun no. Pa din. Yeah. Um Pero yung mga yung mga ibang yung mga talagang iba na naging kaibigan talaga wala silang pake or okay. maybe ako lang maybe also kasi wala rin akong pake. <laughs> oh and, and and with the limited time you spent in school, di ba? Parang at least these were the people who saw through you. Yun yung yun yes. yung parang yes. yun parang iba iba talaga yung dealings mo with them and I saw I saw that that tipong they may be few but then iba yung yung tipo bang mapupuntahan mo dahil yun ba tatatunong kita mama ya whose advice do you seek di ba if you have problems these are the college friends na walang interest <laughs> di ba parang in the end mm-hmm. yun yung sasabihin mo ah wala naman siya pakinabang or walang kabig pero I trust their God yes. and, and, Yeah. Kasi high school friends, yung high school friends, yun talaga yung sila, talaga yung walang pake. Di ba? Kasi <laughs> yung true. nakita nila in all the, yung talagang like that, di ba? Pero That's yung true. sa college, I think through the different um, stages of my life, napag-mix mm-hmm. ko rin yung high school and college friends. Yeah. Even let's say through my wedding, that yeah. my bridesmaids yeah. were from all the different, you know, areas oh, 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 of my life. Oh, oh, oh. Yung ganun, so, And then there's a, a good space. It's a good space na people would just like to like actually protect you eh kasi parang huy ano wag wag kayong wag kayong uh, parang babaging pabigat kay Mikey or wag niyo siyang i-expect na uh, saktan parang ganun kasi well of course yun one one question in is that um you went to college na nandiyan na si Chris And parang you've, you've always been compared to her. Pero well, parang people, your friends were really so protective na oh, wag nyo siyang isasama dyan sa ganyang discourse because Mikey's different. So how did that feel when you were in college? I never I never saw that, That's honestly. true, that's true. I never saw that. And actually, si Chris, pareho naman din yung school namin nung high school. Correct, so it's correct. not the first time na nandun yung interaction. And... Chris and I are cousins. Okay. So, you know, in high school, minsan siya pa maghahatid sa akin sa bahay or yun, yung mga gano'n, no? Kasi, um, syempre, high school, pare-pareho naman yung dismissal nyo. And it was really actually a comfort for me na nung dumating ako sa Ateneo, nandun pa siya. Kasi, yes, yes. wala na kung masyadong kilala yung mga kaibigan ko. Sobrang kalat kami. May nag-Saints ko, may nag-UP Manila, may nag-UP Diliman, may... Yun, kalat kalat talaga kami. So, wala yung makakapitan ko na from high school to make that transition. So, for me, it, she was one of the things na naging, nag-bring ng comfort sa akin comfort, dahil yeah. nasa ato na yun. But Pero, she was a senior. Correct. Yun nga ang maganda lang. Parang, you were parang also the antithesis of what Chris was. No? Parang people are saying in campus, if Chris... Um, wanted really high profile at well siya nang naman mismo no parang parang she would really Lano catch <laughs> yeah, she would really catch attention si Mikey yung hindi ikaw talaga yung hindi as in 
as yun pa simpleng pasok sa school ganun tahimik lang even with your circle of friends so parang oh well hindi na mamaya na natin pag-usapan yung yung sa pandemic no but now here in level up we like celebrate who we were what we love and what we stand for and what's next so let's look back dun sa college part so memories of college what kind of student were you Mike like to, to tell our student <laughs> viewers Okay, so you were juggling oh through that. May swatch na yan. Tapos nun, may sports pa, di ba? Yeah. May, may training ka sa polo club palagi. Tapos nun, yeah. you would go to school, di ba? Actually, hindi. Sa ano ka nagtitrain nun? Saan ba? Sa Lipa. Sa Lipa. Okay. Sa Alabang, sa Alabang. Sa Alabang okay. pa. So, uh, but you always chose the morning classes, Mike. Ikaw, ang, ang, ang tiyaga yes. mo nun. Why so? I always, I always chose... Hindi naman necessarily the morning classes, either all morning or all afternoon. Pare, Saka, para half day lang. Kasi ba, walang break. Oo, uh, walang break. Para may time ako, either before, although preferably after school, to train. Kaya ako rin yung studyante na hindi mo makikita sa school. Kasi yes. pagdating ko, straight to the classroom, tapos yes. class, 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 tapos alis na ako. Yes. I even took theology and philosophy in Filipino. Correct. Just so that I could have the schedule have that I day. wanted. That's true. That's true. Yeah. You know who's like But that? It, Chris Chu. Chris Chu's like that too. To maximize okay. them the day, one half day lang yeah. so that you can do other things after. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, siguro kaya feeling ng tao, simple ako. Kasi, hindi nila nakikita. <laughs> No, but tell them that you would bring your assignments and your your homework really in in the set, no? To the set when you have movie sets, yeah. as movie sets. I I nag showbiz na lang naman ako senior na ako. Ah, okay. I was a senior. Okay. And we were shooting forever during the time that I was preparing for Asian Games and okay. doing my thesis. Yes. So how hard so, was that? So magaling si Lloyd. <laughs> The, the the stretch of um, the period where we were filming, um, puro kami night effect mm. dun sa diner sa QC. Yes. So we would shoot, oo, di ba? Mga 6pm until sunrise. Yes. Pag sikat ng araw, uuwi ako, maliligo ako, tas I'll go to training. So natutulog ako sa kotse. Okay. And then by 10 o'clock, Meron akong class film with ano Father Nick Cruz, yes. Father Nick Cruz, yeah. Yes. Um, tapos a lot of the movies pa na yung pinapanood niya sa amin, napanood ko na. Yes. Kasi puro mga good, that's good. Yeah. So usually napanood ko na. So in class, <laughs> in class, doon ako medyo nakalulugo. Nakasit. Pero napanood ko na, na diba? ako. Napanood ko na. Um, hindi ko tinulugan yung class niya. Napanood ko na yung mga films okay, niya. Okay. And then, tuloy-tuloy yung class ko until until mga 2 or 3. And then, after that, nagda-data gathering kami with the fencing team. With the Ateneo mm-hmm. fencing team. Mm-hmm. And then, after our data gathering, diretso na ako sa set. Galing. Galing. So, so, disiplina talaga. Once, Yes, and actually, kabataan. Ah, Kasi that's hindi true. Ko that's true. Maganda yun, na May yourself self-aware na you cannot not have enough sleep anymore. Di ba? Yeah, Parang no more. Parang gross plus sleep. Di ba? <laughs> Tapos, no more. Oo, eh. tama, tama yun. Kabataan, kaya pa yung adrenaline mo. Pero, you won't subject your body to that anymore. So, do you like tell, tell, no. your, ano, tell your sons that? yung valuable lesson to for time management or you just left them now kasi pinagdaanan mo yun um, I, you know that's a good question because mm-hmm. maraming beses ko na rin na kwento to eh pero mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. siguro na kwento ko na rin sa kanila but Uh-oh. I don't know kung na-absorb nila yung gano'n but knowing na, you Mike na gano'n yung lifestyle ko but knowing you you're kasi, not imposing kasi eh. noon You don't impose yeah, on them, but, ba? Yeah. No, but at the same time, um, siguro as a parent, minsan nakalimutan mo na rin na 
wala sila doon nung pinagdaanan mo yon pag hindi mo kinwento hindi mo sinabi hindi nila malalaman that's true so um you know when my kids were growing up i really poured most of my time and attention on them Syempre, most may mga of ibang all stories. all of your time most of your time really yeah so in that sense hindi nila nakita yung mikey na na nagjajuggle hindi yes. nila nakita yes. yung na hindi matutulog yes. tapos may mga times pa kunyari sasabihin nila daddy can you buy us ganito no hindi pwede mahal yan ganyan sasabihin nila mommy you should work because if you work hindi na mahal yan kasi may pera na tayo wow ganyan so in a way it was like frustrating because hmm. akala nila na comfortable lang yung buhay ko at buhay namin mm-hmm. yung hindi mm-hmm. kailangan mag irap or mag to mm-hmm. have a comfortable life of yeah. course they were young um but it was a uh, you know we learned from from That's our kids true. also uh, pag hindi mo sinabi hindi mo pinakita hindi nila matututunan and okay. a lot of what i learned in life is from experience not yes. from the classroom yes yes so, so you process yeah. things with them so knowing you like now that you're focused on your kids and your family you process things with them and like galeng no parang you share these things we try we try mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. i think it's difficult for them to imagine although growing up mommy bakit maraming nagpapa picture sa yo uh-huh. mommy who's that uh-huh. Parang, who's that? Do you know them? How come they know you? Yes. Yung ganon. So, no, but if there's anything... But it's different. You provide them context. What's that? If there's anything yun, very, very Mikey yung you provide them context. And you provide everything with yes, context. But, no? but also, there's Google. <laughs> Open so, it, guys. May mga, may mga times na biglang may sasabihin sila. Tapos, what? What? Where did you Where did you hear that? <laughs> Tapos biglang ah, kasi mommy we googled you. Oh, okay. <laughs> like that. <yun na> <laughs> No, let us go through the ano, the memory, the well, um yo pa look back that then. No? So, saan yung tambayan ni Mikey? We can't say of any tambayan, di ba? Kasi um you were there lang one half day. Pero oh, well. Mar- <laughs> <laughs> May mga <laughs> May mga times naman, di ba, na nade-dismiss early. So, ayun, yes. sa office mo, isang tambayan ko oh, yun. Kasi um, overlooking office. everyone yung office, di ba, nung sa kulay ko, parang makikita kitang, mo siya. Kitang-kita uh, yung, ano, tapos pag halimbawa marami nang dumadaan, ibig sabihin nun, naglilipatan na ng class, di ba? Yes, yes, um, yes. Tapos, sa, sa office ng Ms. Rosales, <laughs> madalas din ako sa office ng Ms. Rosales. And also in the library. <laughs> Reserve section ng library, di ba yun yun ikaw? May mga cubicles sa library. Yes, <laughs> <Guess, doon> ka <laughs> natutulog. <laughs> kung nagnanap kung minsan. Yes. Yun. But, the, but that's not, it was never my intention to nap in the library. It yeah. was always my intention to study. That's true, that's but true. But then, parang it, it was, was a safe refuge. It was just an intention. <laughs> intentional ng galing. No, no. Don't favorite tell subjects. God. Favorite subjects, Mike. When you were in college, yung wow. things that stuck with you. Parang sa maganda ng sabi mo, no? The things you learned, siguro you learned discipline, I guess, or the values in college, pero much of what you carried were really not the book book learned lessons, no? But but more of the things that stuck to you. Sino yung ano, ano yung mga klase na talagang nag-stick sa iyo hanggang ngayon? Paul Sai. Ah, oh, that's good. See the teacher. Um, Paul Sai. Um, si si Sir. Um, nasa ano na siya <laughs> yes, eh. na, Okay. Yun na okay. talaga. You know, you were just talking about him the other day, so I don't know why I can't remember. Sir Lavinia, no Paul Sai. <laughs> no, no. I hope he's not watching because <laughs> nag-message pang ako sa kanya sa FB eh. Sabi okay. ko, Sir, Sir, Sir nasa ka kayo. Later, kasi may naisip pa kung ibang teacher na what stuck, what stuck na, with you? What stuck with you sa Paul Sai? What oh, that he, he treated me so badly in the beginning oh, of the course. He okay. really treated me so badly. 
he had such a bias against me. Yung talagang tinitira niya ako sa class. Okay, okay. Pero, tsaka SK ako noon, so tarla ko yes, kung nakatira yes. noon. Yes. Ah, I was injured. I was injured at that time, so hindi ako nakapag-training. One question, And, um, Mike. One question. Were you more receptive to mga terror teachers? Or yun sa batch nyo na yata, yung tipong mas maganda kaibigan mo and you're more open to learning? Kasi nag-iba na, di ba? When we, when we were younger, yung, yeah. yung mga terror teachers are the ones making an impact. Pero now, sa generation nyo yata, mas, mas open yung mga tao to learning yeah. pag magkaibigan kayo ng teacher mo. So, yeah. that, that professor stuck with you kasi nga, ano, terror siya nung umpisa. Um, gusto ko kasi yung ano yung uh, a teacher that engages me you know a teacher that I can learn from because we have conversations correct, correct. or my challenge kasi hindi naman ako bastos correct, pero correct. hindi rin naman ako nagpapabastos correct correct so In, in this case, the reason na nag-stick siya sa akin was because uh, by the end of our of, of that semester, mm-hmm. we actually had become not friends, but kasi teacher-student pa rin. Yes, Pero yes. nagkaroon kami ng mutual respect. Engagement. That's and good. That's good. He, he, even, he even wrote me a note and uh-huh, said uh-huh. that and said that um, your name means strength. And I hope that one day you will be able to display that strength and serve our country. So from the start, nagalit siya sa akin dahil kahuang ko ako. At some uh-huh. point, uh-huh. I learned because he became willing to teach me, and okay. Okay. instead of pahirapan niya ako. In contrast okay. to other teachers who just told lies about me, That's true. and. And you know, when it's like that, ah, ako wala, sorry, you know, I cannot learn from you no matter That's what true. you're trying to That's teach me. I That's will true. pass your class kasi hindi ako bobo, pero yeah. it doesn't mean na I'm learning from you from my heart. And I learn best when I learn from my heart. So, That's you know what? You never taught me anything. Meron hmm. akong teacher na ganun. Ah okay. May Pero yun, at, least, at least parang ano mo no, parang you know what you want don't want to be. Na parang ganoon yung tipong oo, oh, oh, lalo lalo na when you're a parent, iba educator ka rin pag parent ka na eh. So, alam mo kung kailan matututo yung mga anak mo lalo na ngayon Mike's online learning and I'll ask you that later. Ang hirap Actually, yan. Actually, it's uh-huh. it's more difficult as a parent because eh, kasi nagco-coach din naman ako eh yes, ng yes. equestrian. It's so ah. easy. Um, it's so easy to know and to and I'm a psych graduate, so it's so yeah. easy to know what strategy to take when it's someone else's child. When it's because you're more objective, eh. Pero pag anak mo na, ang yeah. hirap. Parang yeah. lahat ng ayaw kung maging bilang isang magulang. Alam na alam na nila uh-huh. yung ganon. Uh-huh. So if there's anyone probably who has seen the worst. Side of me, it's probably them Our also. Children, yeah. No, but no, yeah, palat natin to pina ko usapan and our our ano our test of ano of yun yung kung ano yung dapat course na dapat gagawin, or yung, yung way natin into a, another person is that, um, itake mo yung position ng kausap mo, <laughs> yung tuturuan mo, will they learn something? Kasi, yun eh, parang yun yung test of goodness mo, kung, kung kaya ba nila yung, yung way mo, yung manner mo. So, you apply that to your kids? Paano yan? Um, what kind of a teacher are you sa mga bata? Sa mga, sa mga bata? Sa mga, I'm, oh, it, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm different with each one of them. Yeah. Dahil iba rin yung personalities nila. Galing, no? So, no. With, with Robbie, I'm a lot more myself. Yung mm-hmm. the good, the bad, and the ugly. Mm-hmm. He, he's the one who sees it all. Mm-hmm. Because he's the mm-hmm. one that I have that kind of relationship with. Mm-hmm. Si Raph naman, he's very quiet, he's very sensitive. So, mm-hmm. you have, I, I, I have to approach all of them Differently. Ang ah, common lang naman sa kanilang oh, lahat sila matitigas ang ilo eh. 
kasi naman parehong sport sports personality yung mga magulang so talagang may may ganung strength of character no maaga pa lang but the thing here is your your psych background equipped you into not boxing people into yun one one size fits all no na na pagtuturo kung di may may sarili talagang yun again back to your favorite word na context may sariling background so yun yeah. maganda yun so yes. yun um next Whose advice? Kaninong advice yung yung pinakikinggan mo? Sabi natin nga yung walang kabig. Ano yung advice na nag-stick sa iyo from college hanggang ngayon? Yung parang oh, well, yung oh, yung, ay, yung merong yung palagi mong binabalikan na tipong oo, oh, oo, oh, 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 Mike's um parang ako yung isa sa mga advice dati yung learn how to say no. Kasi nung bata tayo, 'di ba, yes lahat, pati mga kaibigan, pati lahat mga commitments yeah. but then yon the painful part is yon um saying no and then i learned it from from some teacher who would say um we are also defined by the things we say no to ikaw ano yung advice na palaging nag naglilinger na sa iyo or paulit-ulit sa iyo um, i think that's hard because ang daming taong naging influential sa buhay ko. Tama naman. Tama naman. Um, not, not just because of kung ano yung sinabi nila na advice mismo, advice okay. per se, but because maybe of how they treated me or how they reacted to me depending on certain things that I or did. Or modeling, no? Or modeling. Uh-huh. Their lives are, are, are inspiration or examples na pwede mong sundan. Yes, but but in a way, it's not so much. Um, it's not so much, siguro that. But mm-hmm. in in my interactions with those yeah. people, because yeah. whether whether she yung naging utility sa TV yeah. show ka before, yung Mikey yeah. yeah. or or EP or producer or even my parents or my sisters or yeah. nagalaga ng kabayo ko or you know what I mean. It's a or or yung nagde drive sa akin na na habang tulog ako nasa kamay nila yung buhok ko. <laughs> no my god, kasi yun lang yun I have to say that I have to emphasize that kasi yan din kitang-kita ngayon kasi palagi natin pinag-uusapan to no alam mo yung mabuting tao yung mabait na tao kung mabait siya sa pinakamaliliit or underprivileged na mga tao ikaw yon actually thank you for that you're mentioning yun nga yung yung utility kasi yun eh doon mo na susukat na hindi lang yung person of authority yung pinapahalagahan so that that that's one really good well thing. Um, you know I think kasi, okay, yung sinasabi mong advice na bumabalik-balik, Mm-mm. okay, is, I remember I was eight years old mm-hmm. the first time na sinabi ng dad ko sa akin. Mm-hmm. Parang, uh, ang pagkasabi pa niya, so, um, who do you think you are? Wow. I said, what? <laughs> who do you think you are? Parang, I don't know. I was I was eight. I eight remember. Four. I was eight, and he said, and he said to me, um, "Have you done anything in this world?" Wow. And I said, "No, because I'm eight." Because of I remember so well. And he mm-hmm. said, mm-hmm. "Yes, but you have so much. Mm-hmm. You have so much, but you haven't done anything in this mm-hmm. world. Mm-hmm. So, hindi ka pwedeng maging mayabang." Hindi ka pwedeng maging hindi mabait. Galing. Sabi niya, and it's your duty to find a to find a way to be a blessing to others because you have so many blessings that you don't deserve. Ah, talaga sinabi yung you don't deserve. So you had oh, to deserve. Oh, wala, wala, wala pa daw akong ginagawa sa buhay ko. So Galing. sabi ko, syempre, eh, pa lang ako. <laughs> so, you know, my dad would repeatedly give me that speech at mm-hmm. different stages of my life mm-hmm. even the last one being even only a few years ago mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. yon si, so so literally na literally yun yung bumabalik-balik na na Galing. sermon kasi Galing. in order niya <laughs> and i guess it, it's something that you'd pass on to your children <laughs> na tipong oo oh, oh. well, the entitlement yeah. of this generation <laughs> diba yeah ibang class yeah, it's, uh, well, na, na tipong yeah. it's bursting your bubble 
<laughs> Pero ano, it, it grounds you. Yun. I think the difficult, the difficult, um, the difficult thing about this generation and probably the challenge that a lot of parents like me go through is um, that they're very different because That's, they are so much more exposed Yeah, yeah. So much more. They see so much more, and they're yeah. exposed in in a way that's that true. we never that's were true. before. And as parents, we all fear the same thing. Pareho yung kinatatakutan namin as parents, but at the same time, because the enemy is largely unseen, yes, hindi namin alam na how to go to each other as parents to be able to say na. Na o oh, sige mag mag vault in tayo mga magulang para iisa oh. lang yung mga patakaran sa mga bahay natin. Yung ganon, you know. Sa so, tapos marerealize mo lang yan, lampas ka na dun sa stage That's na pwedeng mong gawin ko. Ganon. So it's okay. very frustrating actually. <laughs> and now that but there's too too, uh, too many options for them and too many distractions yeah. actually Mike's diba that they have to yeah. sift through with iba ibang class that they have to sift It's through the noise It's very confusing me I feel That's bad true. for this generation I really really um sympathize with this yes. generation yes. because um there is so much clutter and yeah, it, and, and they don't realize that it's clutter Yeah because yeah. First and foremost, what we should be looking for um, is ano ba yung mga God-given talents natin? Galing, galing. Kasi dun tayo pwede mag-shine. That's what we can develop. It's galing. too easy now to get into something na na trendy or That's something true. na uso. Yes. Tapos pag hindi okay, susuko ka na, move on to the next thing. So it's very confusing. Hindi ko kaya. Di ba the attention yun. span, di ba? And then ito pa yung hindi nila kaya, Mike. And then I would like go back to your to our being in the office in my office and you just be um silently reading your your books or silently doing your assignments. This generation mahirapan i-handle yung silence. And then we had this talk na sabi mong ganun, some people, at yung hinahanap mo actually na ano, na, na partner during that time, kasi marami nang liligaw sa'yo, somebody who's comfortable also with silence. Kasi sabi mo, ganun ka kasi, pwede kang tahimik at naiintindihan yung katahimikan mo. This generation, nahihirapan doon, di ba? Actually, you're right. And the scary thing is that even when they're being silent in their minds, that's, that's when it's noisier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm so I feel so blessed actually and in a way I I wonder how to protect my kids mm-hmm. or or people that we care about from that because I fall into the trap myself. That's true. That's true. That's true. I fall into the trap. Kung baga pag wala kang ginagawa, unang gagawin mo open mo yung phone mo tapos ano yung pwede kong gawin? Ano yung pwede kong gawin? Pero hindi ko muna gagawin yung work ko kasi wala akong enough time na matapos yung work ko. So, to pass some time, I'm gonna do something that's meaningless. That's true. That I'm gonna forget. You know, so, so and then, and then, tatang, even social media, when I look in social media, I, I, I look at, kasi ako, hindi ako, hindi ako katulad ni Regine. Si Regine, oh, okay. yeah. pag, Bilat niya ng mata niya, pipicture niya yung sarili niya, she, yeah. she can post it. Yeah. That's how yeah. amazing that person is. That's true. That That's true. She's, she's like that. You know? Yes. Yes. I'm not like that. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, you, if you follow me on social media, yeah. you can see my posts are you and part of me, very yeah. deliberate, always. Yeah. <laughs> Always like you know, there's a message or a reason That's to post. That's true. That's true. You're very Lucy but, Torres. See Lucy, oh, really? but yes, Lucy yeah. is a lot more than me. Yeah, uh, yeah. but yeah. also for me, like, it's like um, but I do, I do, I do look in social media. I yes. lurk, I browse. Yeah. And when I see posts of some people, minsan pati ako sa sabihin ko, ay mm-hmm. buti pa sila. Mm-hmm. May ganyan. Mm-hmm. Ay, buti pa sila. Nakakaganyan sila. And then I catch myself and I say, Hoy, excuse you. 
Anong karapatan mo? Galing, diba? galing, Anong karapatan galing. Because the best moments are not on social media, Mike. You live it, di ba? Oh, yeah. That's And I think that's why, that's why I'm so bad at taking pictures. As in, on <laughs> birthday ko, sabi ni Dodot sa akin, hindi ko ba kukuha kahit isang picture? Kasi, <laughs> ay, oh nga pala. Sabi niya, palagi yung sinasabi, ay, wala tayong picture, wala tayong picture. Why don't you ever take pictures? Sabi niya, yeah, yeah. I forget. Because <laughs> you, you are in the moment. Because you are in the moment. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, I'm also sad. Kasi, Walang picture. Walang <laughs> remembrance. No, but the thing here is, diba, iba pa rin yung nararamdaman. And it sticks to you. Well, merong iba talaga na so social media savvy. Pero, well, it needs a lot of balancing act, I guess. And yeah. then, let the kids do it for you, no? <laughs> you know, I find kasi na kapag, kapag sasabihin ko sa sarili ko, ay, kailangan ko mag-post ng ganito or gusto ko mag-post ng ganyan. I feel that I change. Ah, uh, okay. okay. Parang okay. parang nasa mind ko na ay kailangan mag-ayos ako ng buhok, ay kailangan mag ay kailangan maganda yung back, ay kailangan ganyan. Yes, Saka yes, hindi ako yes. focused yung nakikita yung bahay ko. Yes, It's not for yes, any reason. Yes. I'm just I'm just not like that. Even yes. my kids, they know don't yes. post yung ganito, don't post yung nakikita yung, yes, yung yes. bahay or yung ganyan or yung ganito. I mean, it's not that I'm trying to hide anything, but I just like privacy. to value my privacy. That's true. Yeah. Galing, galing. Kasi, Mike, it's a totally different view now, now that it, parang it seems like everything's um consumed by the public. No? Parang ako, yeah. buti na lang meron pa rin mga tao who hold on to that, that sense of privacy. Hindi <laughs> ba? So, yun. And that notion na not everything's on social media. Yun yung ano. Either that or tamad lang ako. <laughs> yeah, hindi. No, pag gusto mo naman, Mike, ginagawan mo ng paraan. Let's go back to our our memories, no? When were you happiest in in college as a student? Can you go back to the time para people would like learn more from it? Kasi daw yun, the, the things that stick to you pag extreme yung emotions, mahalaga. So, kailan ka pinakamasaya? Honestly, I was always happy. I was always happy because I was grateful to yes. have a life as a student, to have a life as an athlete. Yes. I felt like I I made those choices. I felt like I had to make the most out yeah. of those yeah. choices. So I enjoyed na pag nasa school ako, nasa school ako, Mm-hmm. Medyo may pagka-nerd. I, I, you yes, you were. You were. This kasi yeah, you were my teacher more than yeah, one. Yeah, you teacher. were. You were. Parang you were focused as a as a student kasi parang making making for the time. Di ba? Making, yes. Yeah, kasi ako, ako, pag, gusto ko yung nasa harap ako umuupo, yeah. palaging kompleto yung notes ko, palagi akong nakikinig. Yes. Kasi I, I participate because when I'm out of school, I my mind is The farthest place was of my mind was school. Yeah, true. When I'm training, and then when I when I was training, I was also happy. I was happy to be achieving something, even on a daily basis. You know, small small goals, mga ganon. Tapos paguwi ko, happy ako, kasi mahal ko yung pamilya ko. Um, galing, galing. Supportive sila sa akin, cakap mga kahigana <laughs> Na, you were a multitasker umpisa pa lang. Di ba? Para, you know, para, I have you were really coach. good at juggling things. Yes. I have a coach. Uh, have, have, had a coach who um, <laughs> who was also for many, many years a middle school principal. Australian okay. siya. Hindi ko siya, hindi okay. siya yung coach ko, pero he's visited the Philippines a number of times. And he said, oh, you have a background in psychology, sabi ko. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he said, "Okay, so you answer me this: Are you willing to admit that you are not a multitasker, and that actually there's not much of a thing as a as a successful multitasker?" <laughs> Sabi mo ik ako. Tapos kinuwento ako sa kanya. Kinuwento ako sa kanya. Tungo mo hmm. pinag-usap natin. Sabi niya, "Yeah, but you were not multitasking. You were in the moment." Yeah, of where yun. you were, and then you move on to something else. So ano man yun? So also, so yon. Na itin di ako yung sinasabi niya, and I also, I also am so blessed to have many opportunities offered to me 
Yes. And to have a, a mom who was excited for me and made me take those opportunities. She yung palagi yung sasabi sa akin na, take it, do it, do it. If you don't like it, get out. Galing, no? Oh, you always have an option. But if something is offered to you, of course, something good, not something bad, not That's drugs true. or whatever, That's or something true. shady, di ba? Take it, make the most of it, enjoy it. If you like it, pursue it. If you don't like it, get out. Galing. Galing. And people always support your choices. So for me, that was the one of the most um, Galing. encouraging mindsets. Now everything is an adventure. And a blessing, no? Na tipo, yes, and yes. you were also blessed, Mike, with really good people. Diba? Ikaw, mag- marunong kang pumili and people gravitate the good people. Siguro yun yung na-attract mo rin kasi, kasi yun yung ini-emit mong energy. Kasi um, if you're with the best people na nakapaligid sa'yo, nakukuha mo yun eh. And even even you're being offered the best well, opportunity. So, um, yun nga. So, after school, no? There was, there was um, show business. And then, um, yeah, 1994 forever. And we were just saying it parang, oh, it's the dear heart of your generation. Totoo naman, Mikes, no? But didn't did you see it as a cautionary tale of your love story? What do you mean? That tipong, okay, you, you never knew it, but it will be your love story. <laughs> oh, well, parang... well, actually, no, it wasn't my love story. But we ha- you have to remember that mm. I was not an actress. That's true. Yun nga yung novelty don Mike. Si eh. nakita ko yung kaba mo nun, ha? But you you <laughs> emerged. You really Sorry. immersed. You really immersed yourself into show business. Also to like be able to like embrace the 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 industry. Pero Mike's um, ito yung ano after nag premiere na ng ng forever na yung batch mo yung nag sponsor. I remember re- I remember really us going to Christ the King. Tapos in offer mo yung bouquet na yon. Tapos sabi ako surrender na kung ano mang lalabas ng pelikula, kalalabasan ng pelikula ikaw na yung bahala. Parang well it's really blending whatever it is a faith and then the industry. Tapos yon, ito sa an un- unexplored territory. Yes, yeah, you were an actress. You weren't an actress, but then you you slipped into it quite comfortably. Well, How did you do uh, it again. It's again the project was was tailor made for That's me. True. So, yes. um, it was written to suit what I was capable and of. Give, yeah, had. that's true. And I had the, the best director. Yes, who yes. cared who cared about yeah. the project. Malasakit, no? Totoo. Yeah. And malasakit sa yung parang because exactly. some people will just will just like finish the product. Tapos wala yung well being mo trample, di ba parang but, ganon? But kasi Roel, Roel was my swatch director, that's and true. yun palang alam niya na siguro kung anong dapat ng expect dun sa forever. That's true. Ito gusto ng ipatan. <laughs> Ni Lorna. Si Lorna nanonood. Was, Hi, it, wasn't it hard? Wasn't it hard for you to be there with Aga Mula who was trying to pursue you and a director who really was in love with you also? Oh, <laughs> 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 naman. You know what? I never it was a source of inspiration though. I didn't because that's his character. That's he's true. a passionate person. He's an artist, the ba? True. And that's the that's what he expects of himself. So in that's a way, true. I had to also as someone who also respected him that's a lot. True. That's true. And grateful for for taking care of me, you know, with project, etc. Ako kailangan gawin ko din yung part ko. <laughs> Tapos and then of course Ada, regardless of what he was thinking or thinking or whatever, we were also friends. And That's true. And um the support the support was always there. Even yes. even like you know, Patos, Viva. Yes, of course. Of course it was a whole it was a Viva, family. Gina, yes. it was I mean, a whole family. You know what? It's um it's it's not that good people gravitate to me. It's mm. that the Lord has been so kind to surround me with people who true. are not just competent but good at what they do. Yeah. On their own, they want to to be excellent. That's true. Mismo. 
That's so true. it's so easy to work with people who want to be excellent. That's true. You you do your part, I do my part, the puzzle pieces fit. Galing, galing. Not that tipong may hiya ka na lang if you don't deliver. But in the exactly. end, in the end, parang you're in that circle na hindi lang excellence yung kailangan, kundi may goodwill. Yes. Yung yun, yes. may pagmamahal, may malasakit sa'yo. So, was it hard? Yung tipong, oh yan, going after forever was a benchmark, Mike. Eh. Di ba parang after forever, ang hirap tumanggap ng ibang project kasi parang it was tailor-made for you. Yes. So, wait lang, wait lang. Go, 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 go. Put on Ayan. a shirt and I'll, I'll introduce you. Pag nananay, okay. pag nananay na ba yan? Or pag, as, pagiging asawa? Si Robby. Si Robby. My next artist. <laughs> 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 Ay, nako. Spoken for. <laughs> okay, I know, I know, I know. But then, parang, I'll support you, whatever. Kung ano okay. ma, pero finish your studies. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. So, was it hard? Um... I think after forever it was hard because I didn't have any more the hand holding that's true of of direct well yeah that's um true. parang parang um it was uh-huh. I was never on my own of course but I yes. really had to rely on Tita Gurley yes and then I really Virgie uh, also of course Tita Virgie yes. Um, because they were they were always the the gauge kumbaga yeah the virgie siya yung parang um you have to make sure that it's not a doy the that really goes without saying what what you know her role was um it was i also could i also was able to rely a lot on my on um, the fear that people had for my dad <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Ang maganda nun, ang maganda nun, parang everyone wanted you to succeed and then your your story was aspirational. Yung tipo, I would want to be a Mikey. So, it was hard then, di ba, na ikaw yung bagong idol ng 90s. That, <laughs> well, yun, parang, you know what? But I never, I never saw it that yan. way because ito first yan. and foremost, I was a fan. Yes, yes. You know, like, well, kunyari, mag-guest ako sa show tapos ang doon si Sharon, hindi ako mapa... Wala. Parang... Uh, 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 <laughs> Totoo. No, pero ang way mo naman, naging kaibigan mo si Casey. Di ba? Yes. Parang that, that was a good, that was a good parang slipping into show business. But And I then... Was, I was only 16. I know, I know. Tapos ito yung maganda pang nangyari. I guess one of the better movies after forever was Doria Me. Yes. They forged really good friendships. Yeah. And yeah. I know we were campaigning. And then Sina Regine and Donna were there really helping you campaign yes. ba, yeah. for your family. So parang ako, yun, parang ang ganda lang ng mga choices mo, even ng mga kaibigan. Because well, until now, Sina Reg at saka Sina Donna yeah. are good friends of yours. Yes, yes, definitely. The last time na nag-textan kami was just yesterday. And it's Angaling. quite a regular, Angaling. you know, exchange. Angaling. Ang galing. Regardless. Anong learning doon, Mike? Anong learning doon na tipong noon, parang alam mo naman sa industriya natin na parang ang daming transient na mm-hmm. relationships or or acquaintances mga ganyan pero ikaw parang nabavalue mo or napipick out mo yung tipong ay ah, ito tatagal hindi man kayo uh, madalas magkita pero nandun lang present yung mga tao how do you maintain that? It's not it's not really me I mean uh, it's, okay. it's it's us <laughs> kasi true. That's true. Eh, kasi That's si true. Regine ganun na lang talaga kabait na tao si Regine at totoo selfless tapos, no? tapos si si Donna is really really one of the sweetest people mm-hmm. and siguro it's it's even more donna than anyone who initiates the conversation mm, galing. Galing. so so yun parang iba-iba Um, and you're all grown up. Parang ngayon, uh, I mean, ibang-ibang konteksto na nga ulit yung pinanggagalingan niya. But somehow, what binds you together? Ano pa ba yung know. common ground ninyo? I don't know. <laughs> I I think the joy that we yes, experience yes. in work na yes. na mas you know that that scene, the final scene um, yes. of when we were on stage in Dora and Me. Yeah. Yung din yung one of our last shooting days. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Kaya ganun din kasi we were really dreading the end of the project. Iba, no? Yeah. It was really, it was really special and 
we got I don't know how to describe it, pero talagang nag-click lang kami. And the, the, the mics, yun nga, labawat isa sa inyo stood for something, yung yung excellence to in some 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 aspect in your life. So parang, the, the characters in the movie okay. were very natural for Ibang, us. Ibang-iba talaga yan. Sige, kunyari mo, si Donna nandun sa Cebu, nakapangasawa ng doktor, concentrated on her family, fought for her love. Then, Ixi Regine, ayan, she's the songbird, the parang greatest performer now. And then ikaw, the, well, nasa sports. Di ba parang bawat yeah. ikaw sa inyo, nag-excel sa sarili nyo. But you never thought of being excellent, but you just jived. And then as friends, nag-work. Yes. Kata. And um, the dynamics, the roles that we played in mm-hmm. our friendship and in the movie are mm-hmm. still similar to Galing. Galing. how we are now. Galing. So, I mean, I have to give credit also to to the the Viva bosses, Neo, Neo Films. Yes, Neo Films. Nakita nila yon. You know, mm-hmm. things that you don't That's you don't true. look at yourself, but they they are looking pala at you. Karen, karen. Tapos yung writers iniisip, paano ba natin gagawin to? Tapos in a way, it was like, ha, yan ang rule ko, yan ang naman, palagi na lang ganyan. <laughs> Tapos, sige na, okay lang, bahala na. But it was so easy. It was like, Galing. oh, take na tayo. Ah, oh, take na. Ah, oh, you know what I mean? It's yes, like, yes, yeah. yes. it was such a joy. It was yes, such a... Yes. And actually, it also was, um, I think, at that stage then of our lives and our careers, it was... Um, like Dora and Me was my, was my second to the last movie. Yes, yes. And... Not long after Dora and me, I met Dot, and yes. and, and Donna yes. also got married. And yes, yes. Very, yun yung parang mas nagkatotoo na na movie, oh. diba? So in a way, we were at a stage of our lives when we were not young, competitive um, actors. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like. Um, yeah. Relax, chill lang, not and not not trying to prove anything already. And then, may magandang point doon na eh, yung parang nandun na kayo sa sa plateau ba na tipong kailangan iangat or the reinvention part, which is another part of your life already. Na yeah. galing, galing. Yeah, that made us more comfortable with yeah. our own selves, like our own personalities, our own differences, and. Eh, we appreciated each other. Eh. We loved each other from the start. So when you have that kind of support system and that kind of acceptance, Galing. it's it, it's just it's it's the exact example and more of Galing. how work is pleasure. Oh, Mike, tigan nakita mo di ba yung 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 parang um, recurring theme mo na tipong ano people coming to you or parang people gathering lang ng tamang purpose parang ganon you're just so blessed with those right people and the right choices kasi kung hindi parang ah pero parang oo oh, oh, may mga ganyan pero alam mong mag shift through that yung magandang learning now um any other lessons pa in 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 show business kasi ngayon parang oh tama yung far far and few and then pero um may purpose kung bakit ka lumalabas. Sabi ko sa'yo, ang, ang saya-saya ko nung panood kita ulit with John Lloyd, di ba? And Sarah. <laughs> yeah. O yun, parang, parang, oy, ang ganda na tipong uh, mayroong dahilan bakit ka lumalabas. So, what would compel you to like go back and take on showbiz assignments? Because I enjoyed it. I really loved what I was doing. And even before naman, bago ako nag showbiz, Mm-mm. I was always part of the drama club, part yes, of the, yes. you know the productions and yes, so it's yes. not as if it's not as if pinasa ko lang siya, pinaglaroan ko lang siya na oh. uh, as an experience or as an adventure. I mean, I really embraced it and I really tried to be the best uh, oh. that I could be. I, when you when you stepped into like forever, for example, you were Star Awards first most promising female ar- ar- artist, di ba? Parang ikaw yung best, um, uh, parang the best new 
female ano ano parang yes, female oh, yeah, actress. Yeah, yeah. Ikaw yon, hindi mo ipagmamalaki yeah. pero nung nag-start yung Star Awards, ikaw yon. So at least you know, you were recognized for that effort and you you really try to make a mark kung ano man yung papasukin mo. So now, yun nga, feeling ko sa natin bago tayo nag-start. I really see you in a talk show, Mike. And I'm happy. I'm just happy like you've got into real talk. Pero yung isin na ko sa yun, kaya mo yan. Kaya mo yung magisa. Actually, you've been wanting, you've been wanting that too, no? Parang um, what was it? Parang a natural progression na pwede ka talaga ang pwede mong gamitin yung pagkasaik major mo, pagkananay mo, and all the varied experiences that you have in processing people's stories. You know, um, I I really. I think I think as a person I really just appreciate others. Yeah. Uh, other yes, people's yes. stories, other people's yes. experiences and Dang. how other people are necessary pieces mm-hmm. to the puzzle mm-hmm. that the world is. Mm-hmm. So real talk is um I'm 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 actually a guest co-host <laughs> and I was supposed to be uh, two episodes lang. Ah, talaga? No, yeah. they should retain you and then hire you for a show of your own. I'm getting <laughs> this out. Uh, honestly, it, it's a it's it's a project. Yeah. It's a passion project that yeah. was um, conceptualized by Christian and former employees of ABS-CBN. Yeah. Former because They're retrenched. Yeah. Kasi nakala yung franchise ng ABS. And, Kasama pa si Chit John? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. And it's really amazing how God works because yes. without the without the backstory, oh, I okay. don't know if I would have been <laughs> as enthusiastic to, uh-huh. to uh-huh. join and stay okay. in the project because The ultimate goal of the project is to to glorify God. To, Actually, yes. Pero sabi ko nga, sana bumalik sa mga experiences mo para alam niyo kung paano after the word of God, parang to make it doable. So <laughs> sabi ko, "Uy, salita ka pa, Mike. I know you still have a lot of things to say." Pero we, good we, na rin. Yeah, we try kasi na as much as possible to give the time for what our guests are saying. Oo. Of course, right? Kasi syempre, iba iba pala, iba pala yung host ka. Kasi talagang host ka. Totoo, It's like inviting someone to your home also na sila yung they come before you, their their stories, their, you know. So it's it's um it's been a very enriching experience for me because siguro kahit na nag-co-host ako like with with Chris, the diba? yes, with my yes, yes, you know, yes. I started out dapat one two weeks tapos naging three months na pala ako araw-araw ng bonding din on tapos to the point na nagbakasyon na siya iniwan niya ako doon That's true. You know so but um it's just the Lord's timing is always perfect. That's true. And and um and If not for the pandemic, if not for lockdown, <laughs> I wouldn't have. Hindi nangyayari. Totoo rin naman, no? But it, it opened your mind to, oh, it's something I like or I'm, I'm comfortable doing. I Dapat never kasi, really knew. I never really knew. Oh, talaga, Mike? And then, and then now, kasi I was asking myself before, so may masanay ako na ini-interview ako, marunong kaya ako mag-interview. Mm. But you're <laughs> so, natural, di ba? Nakikinig, magaling ka makinig. Yun yung I maganda doon. Siguro, siguro, ngayon, ngayon na lang. Aha. Siguro ngayon na lang. I don't okay. know kung, kung dati, kung magiging ganun ako. And to give credit to to our writers, well, I'm yeah. not asking yeah. anything really yeah. that they're that they have not suggested. Maybe uh-huh. I well, ask that's good. in my words, because diba? because or you give them context. Pero Mike, Mike's ito yung maganda dito. Now, because dati sabi mo nga sanay na sanay ka na ikaw yung interview. Now it's a, an experience of ano eh, of of selflessness when you're the one listening. Yung tipong, di ba, yung ikaw yung tagatanggap and tagaproseso na it's not about you. <laughs> it's yeah. not about yeah. you. It's it's about their stories. 
Yes. No? Parang it's empowering them. Ang ganda nun, yung shift na... It's an exercise in... <laughs> Oo, oh, oh. hindi ikaw yung bida, di ba? Parang you don't use big words kasi gusto mo gusto mo sila yung palutangin. Sabihin mo na lang na, uy, wag naman masyadong marami so we can get into... Kasi di ba, yung sa TV, ang exercise dyan, maraming story para engaging kasi yung attention span ng mga tao. But then, iba din kasi yung quality ng talk, yung lumalalim palalo. Yeah, when you get yeah. to... Talk to them. Actually, well, yeah, that reminds me. That reminds me also of um, one of the reasons why I was prepared to leave showbiz. Ah, uh, okay. Why? Because Ayan. well, of course, aside from aside from being so in love and ready to move on to the I next know. stage yes. of, of my Your life, life. Yeah. yeah, it was also because um, because. Siguro, naano na rin ako, parang um, I had frustration with the industry. That's true. That's yeah, true. I had frustration with the industry, with ratings. And I know. And then, yeah. well, they favor people na, oh, ako, sorry, maingay or flamboyant. Yung tipong ganun, or sensational. Diba? Parang may ganung, may ganung leaning na tipong, oh, that will rate because it will create it controversy. Yeah. And I, I didn't have a problem with that in many ways. In the mm-hmm. sense na, in the sense na I enjoyed also <laughs> making fun of myself. You know, we had so many top rating episodes of Mikey dahil mm-hmm. you know ang katawa-tawa yung itsura ko, yung ganon. And for me, I really, I welcomed it because it was fun. It was fun for me. Um, but of course, after five years, it was also, um, you know, you Mikey, there were a lot of directors na first time silang nag-direct doon mm-hmm. or nag-umpisa sila sa other roles within production and eventually, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. work their way up. And I really enjoyed, um, yeah. even if we had so many new, new personalities na first time nilang mag-act, you know, we had to, all of us, we had to extend our patience a lot. Yes. Um, because... And, and it was okay with me because yeah. because before people did it for me, yeah. you know. So, so no. for me, it was okay. But then at a certain point, we weren't really doing uh, as much of that, and the scripts felt familiar. Mm-hmm. Some were too familiar, and some were things that we should do this because this will rate. And I, I got tired. I got yeah. burnt out yeah. of that because also. Never in my career did I really feel like I had an obligation or a, or a responsibility to someone else other Galing. than myself. Galing. So I was very focused on... Now, maganda yung point yon. What did you do nung nasa brink ka ng burnout? Ano yung lesson ng mga tao na pwedeng makuha? Na pag, how do you deal with burnout? Because even the Sarah Hieronymus of the world would like say, okay, I need a break. What do you do? Well, us, we changed format to That's something true. that was um, something that... that Excited. Pinagbigyan naman nila ako eh. Pinagbigyan naman nila ako. But okay. we were not able to really execute um, okay. to, that, to, the, to the point of the vision of okay. the formatting okay. because of practical reasons. Okay. So, wala. Okay. Even me, myself, it was... I was part of the of that of why we couldn't do it that way that we wanted to and or, or when, people wanted or you wanted a transition also with your life yes but also no yes but but i guess i didn't know how mm. and i didn't and probably people may or may not have been ready mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um whatever the case is i think that I was looking to do something na mas my social impact. Galeng, galeng, galeng. And and Mike's um before we take a break, what was the lesson there? When your whole well entertainment career, um, anong takeaway ng mga tao when they glean through your your experiences and your achievements as a as an entertainment presenter and as a performer? Anong pwede nilang pulot? Mikey as um, the ano. 
as the showbiz you mean personality. What about me or about my experience? Your experiences, your experiences. So anong wisdom yung anong learning na pwede mong ma-share or inspiration na pwedeng makuha ng mga tao? Well, um, I guess this is not just in showbiz but mm-hmm. but also in every aspect that when you're given an opportunity That's true. Especially when you're given multiple opportunities, you have to treat each one of them with the same amount of respect. Ang galing. Because there are people there na doon nakasalala yung buhay nila. Tama yun. Even Tama if yun. ikaw hindi doon nakasalala yung buhay mo sa kanila doon. So you have to give them or your work that amount of importance because of its importance to someone Galing. that okay. is helping further yourself. Galing. You and Mike's, um, we'll just take a mid-term break um, and we'll be joined by students who are inspired oh, by wow. And they'll be, they'll be the ones <laughs> asking you questions and then relive your being a student. Yung tipong ikaw na ngayon, yung teacher, ikaw na yung mag-tumoy. Hindi magtuturo, pero recollections of your your lessons, the lessons you've learned para ma-share sa kanila. That's all. Yan naman yung ano natin, di ba? Parang okay. India, tayo naman yung mag-share sa kanila. So, we'll just take a break. Ma- Tuloy lang natin yung yung chismisa natin habang nagpapakita sila ng quoting reminders dun sa dun sa Radyo Katipunan. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. All caps mga atinista, it's time to level up. Level up. Your top variety program showcasing the best in media and other fields as we feature the most loved personalities and the best practices of what we truly refer to as Magis. Together with multi-awarded multimedia guru, Mr. Noel Ferrer, let's all level up every Fridays from 3 to 6 p.m. here on Radyo Katipunan 87.9 FM. Radyo Katipunan. News, insights, inspiration. Radyo Katipunan. Down from the hill and down to the world. Radyo Katipunan. The voice of the Blue Eagle. Radyo Katipunan is now online. See our live feed on facebook.com slash Radyo Katipunan. Check out our Instagram and our Twitter at Radyo Katipunan. And subscribe to our YouTube channel at Radyo Katipunan FM for more exclusive content. We are now on YouTube. Watch all of our live episodes plus exclusive content in our channel at Radyo Katipunan FM. Don't forget to click subscribe and hit the bell to get the latest updates. Radyo Katipunan. News, insights, inspiration. Radyo Katipunan. Down from the hill and down to the world. Radyo Katipunan. The voice of the Blue Eagle. Rajo, 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 Pagpabalitang tumpak at tama Buhay atenista Sa loob, sa labas ng skwela Atin ibibida Lahat ng kwela Sa kayot, tunong at tulog Lipat na blue eagle Kaling giting na gigil Blue and white One big fight Rajo, Rajo, Rajo Katipuna Rajo, Katipuna Rajo, Katipuna Rajo, Rajo Caps, 
mga atinista, it's time to level up! Your top variety program showcasing the best in media and other fields as we feature the most loved personalities and the best practices of what we truly refer to as Magis. Together with multi-awarded multimedia guru, Mr. Noel Ferrer, let's all level up every Fridays from 3 to 6 p.m. here on Radyo Katipunan 87.9 FM. Are in class. So, I'm, may pa isa is Ayan, si Ella. Ella Sario here is, is our student, is one student. Buti pa sila. They're in class. Yung anak ko, halos walang class. My God. Oh, really? Grabe. Nasabi ko sana, Panchang. But, but you always have class, Mike. <laughs> Kung hindi, papatingin ka namin. As <laughs> sinabi, mo, okay. sinabi mo talaga online. Ayaw oh, mo na. Ayaw mo na. Anyway. <laughs> We're on live. We're, we're on live again. Right. Anyway. I don't understand why he's only going to class once or twice a week. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yung online classes. Oh. <laughs> Sabi mo, ikaw lang yung taga-ayos ng, <laughs> ng technology. <laughs> Pati ba <Diba>? sa content? <laughs> anyway, we're on to our second hour and we're supposed to be joined by students asking you questions. But then, here's their teacher, our colleague and our friend. Cholo, maliming cholo. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I had fun Hello, in our class. <laughs> Glad to be back on RK. For, I, I, I only get to uh, guest spot every now and then. Thanks for inviting me, uh, Noel. Oh. And I'm uh, glad to see Mikey again after such a very long time. I, I'm pretty sure she doesn't remember me. Of course I do. <laughs> really? <laughs> the last Sorry. was. I the already assume me. Cholo, Cholo yes. gave me the Himig Sikan ano, parang, uh, souvenir program and you were you were there with Hans as host sa last part yung sa, sa song right Oh my gosh, but talaga. But we're reviving it this year after a long time. Sabi namin, sana we can have you and Hans again. Parang, parang, rem- kasi grabe the best songs yun na talaga came from Himig Sikan. Well, at least sa, sa Ateneo. So, we're, we're reviving the tradition. But, um, Cholo, I had fun in your class last, ano ba yan? Monday or Tuesday? Thank you, thank you. Grabe, and the students also prepared. had so much fun. Thank you, Noel. A lot of com students. Um, dun sa career nila. Mike, di ba? Parang ibang klase pag nagka-career to ka. At sa tinayo talaga para tayong hinihele na tipong inaalagaan tayo kahit after um, kahit ka-graduate ka na. No? So, Chono, was that what, ano, deliberate ba yun? Yung tipong you're able to hone the com students into their career paths? This early freshman pa lang yun, ha? Yeah, parang, uh, well, that's one uh, thrust of the school now. Uh, it's never too early to be thinking about their future, particularly how they can impact uh, society. Kasi hindi naman mawawala yan sa atin. Uh, mm-hmm. Asa natin iyan, you somehow have to be uh, conditioned to really think about um, you know, other things outside of yourself, uh, outside mm-hmm. of your own personal mm-hmm. diba, uh, gain. Uh, when you graduate from school, like, we, we, we ingrain so much uh, to our students about you know the the notion of uh, nation building the notion of uh, you know uh, be you know being a positive uh, influencer especially in this day and age mm-hmm. so and how to make an impact really how to make a difference so mm-hmm. we we somehow uh, a few years back we decided that the career talk should happen much earlier so now we're giving it to first year students mm-hmm. uh, despite mm-hmm. the fact na along the way magbabago pa yan ng course diba may mga iba diyan magshi-shift pa uh, at least that mindset of you know how do I make a difference uh, when I graduate in four or five years, di ba? Uh, mm-hmm. Has to be grade them in them very early on. That that's really part of not just career but also, uh, di ba? Parang uh, using talaga the Ateneo mindset, di ba? Yun yung hindi mo wala eh. Uh, you have to have that framework. Na atinista ka, you, you, you parang you should not be working just for yourself, di ba? Uh, Mike, you are responsible. Yun na, yeah. Tanong natin, so tanong natin kay Mike's ngayon. Kayo ni Dodot parehong Atenisa, no? Parang um, yeah. in the industries na pinasukan natin, somehow 
iba rin yung tingin sa mga atenista sa di ba parang parang uh, meron ngang bias di ba sa communications lalo na na tipong oh hindi yan magpritimpla ng kape ayo nang mag PA ayo yan ng hirap ganun yung tingin ganun yung tingin sa sa entertainment industry um how did your being atenians um affect your status dun sa mga industriyang pinasok niyo ni Dodot Mics Oh, um, honestly, but maybe you can be the one to tell me this. Mm-hmm. Kapag, kapag kami ba ay pinakilala, the first thing you think of is Atenista kami. Parang hindi eh. That's true. Kasi binibreak mo naman na yun agad. Yun yung maganda sa'yo, di ba? Pabago pa man isipin na kawangko ka, na na atinista ka, ikaw na yung unang nagbe-break ng ice. And tipong, ikaw yun nga, mabait ka sa utility, mabait ka sa production. Yun yata yung kaibahan. But um, did it matter, Mike's in like, kunyari, choosing the projects you'd want to get into? Not to me, in the sense that ah, hindi ko pwede gawin yan kasi atonista ako, gano'n, mm-hmm. never. I no, never thought that way because mm-hmm. I think there are, I, I'm not, I, I think I'm a combination of my experiences, the lessons I've been taught, um, the people who have come in and out of my life. So there's no one institution or, or area of my life that can define me. So at the end of it all, when I am out there, the only thing that I can be is me. That's true. And the <laughs> value set. That's no? right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yung value set na nandun and skill set na And I nandun. think it's too difficult. It's too difficult um, to have to think na ano kaya na iniisip nila tungkol sa akin. Kasi yeah. kung iniisipin ko yun at kung mauna yun, then saan napapasok doon yung totoong ako? That's true. Ganda. Philosophical question. Cholo, ikaw, para lang tayong nasa OSA na nag-uusap. Any, any question kay Mikey? Now that parang, o yun, feeling ko nalulure natin siya back into doing more in, yun nga, being a program presenter. Kasi nga, nakomportable rin siya being a mom. Madaling maging presenter kapag hindi mo kailangan lumabas ng bahay, hindi mo kailangan mag-makeup, hindi mo kailangan sumabak sa traffic. <laughs> that's true, that's true, that's true. Solo, game. Well, uh, well, siguro hindi naman na uh, lingid sa lahat that you were a really big celebrity back in the day. Well, even now. Ngayon, iba ka na. Woman of style ka na ngayon. You're Cholo, ha? Ito, ha? Cholo. Yes. Pero hindi niya, hindi niya talaga inangkin yun, ha? <laughs> hindi niya. Oh, well, I guess that's part, of, that's part of my question. But you did enjoy quite a good run in being, you know, a, a celebrity. Talagang kilala ka kahit, kahit sino, kahit, uh, di ba, with the movies that you had. Of course, ang favorite, isa sa mga favorite movies ko pa rin, yung movies niyo ni Regine sa kanina, Donna Cruz. Every time, every time, that is rerun on, on di ba, on our, our local cable channels. Talagang, alam na alam ng mga tao. I, 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 you know, up until a few years, kinakanta pa yung, I yung kanta niya ni oh, Donna at sa kanina, yeah. ni Regine sa, sa mga program sa school. Di ba, okay. naalala ko, may isang, may isang, uh, di ba, Christmas, uh, Christmas program kami na kin- may kinanta talaga yung ano I can ni Luyo Campo di ba your best friend <laughs> kinanta talaga <laughs> so it's really yeah, well I guess my question going to my question is how did that mold you kasi syempre you went through the I mean you were in school and then you were you, you became a celebrity but how did that mold you going forward you know passing through uh, celebrity dom uh, and how did you yeah. use it I guess to uh to improve your platform eventually i mean as you are doing now spreading a message well yeah. you know my story din yan eh, even before i i um, got to that point and there were a lot of reminders even while i was in that world i was uh, campaigning for my parents in tarlac and i was 13 and um so chris brought a friend with her na showbiz para syempre crowd drawer ganun di ba so eto ako nagsispeech ako tapos um syempre nakikinig yung mga tao kasi ay ah, yung cute niya yung tabataba niya tapos kung hindi siya magtagalo kuhuan ko siya you know a lot of the misconceptions actually worked for me mm-hmm. because i think i was not what people expected mm-hmm. so 
Um, after kung magsalita, pinakilala ko yung personality na yon. Nagganda, oh my gosh, talagang halos riot. Ang um, gulo-gulo. Yung mga tao, sobrang excited sila. Tapos sabi nung personality na yon. Parang bumati siya, magandang gabi po, ganyan, pakiboto po, si, si, tapos kaya <laughs> siya sa likod, tumingin siya sa tarpaulin, tapos si Ting Ting at si Piping, ganon, oh my gosh, I was just appalled. <laughs> you know, it's voting and your vote is so sacred. Tapos pupunta ka dito, tatayo ka sa entablado, may impluensya ka sa tao, hindi dahil sa kahit ano pa, kundi dahil artista ka, may hindi mo alam kung sino yung pinapaboto mo. That's true. And I said to myself, you know, if I ever have a chance to deliver a message in public, I have to be very responsible about it. Galing, galing. So, doon nag, nag-umpisa yung story ko ng pagiging isang nerdy showbiz girl in the sense that I was like not fun, not this, you know, controversial whatever na sumasama-sama sa talk yeah. na dahil, dahil you're, you're gonna get attention for it. I was always yeah. against that. So, I think that the journey that the Lord put me on, considering that I only really accepted the uh, making a movie because I was injured. Di ba? Yes, yes. Kasi nakasaklay pa ako. It was only yes. a stage. Kasi yeah, ako, yeah. Oo. Yes. I song, remember when we had that concert, naka-neck, naka-leg brace ka. <laughs> right. Actually, neck, uh, ano siya? Leg brace? It was a brace. And, right, right. Yeah, with you know, Jimmy, di ba? And, yes. You know, yes, yes. Um, and, and it was um, that one experience na that led and then yun nga na injure ko i was not used to not doing anything usually every day i'm in school and training i was so bored i felt like what am i doing with my life i'm not achieving anything because all i'm doing is going to school <laughs> <laughs> so that's why and then that's why i accepted the movie offer of Viva. okay It that, just fell into place. It just fell into place. That's why I'm saying that I cannot take credit for anything oh, yeah. that 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 any kind of so-called achievement because the orchestration of of the Lord was so great in every part of my life that all I had to do was try to make the most of it. Kaling. Urban legend ba, Mike, yung ano? Mike's na, pero alam ko totoo to eh. Nahinatid ka ni Aga sa campus one time? Sa klase mo? Mm. Or sinundo? Ay, hindi. <laughs> sinundo yata kasi nakita ko yung, Pero yung, yung malilit ka na... Urban tapos, legend? Kala ko urban naman legend. Ano? Kasi usap, usap sa campus, dalawa yon Yung pumunta ka raw, malilit ka na, nakakabayo ka. Of course, hindi oh. naman pwede yun. <laughs> hindi naman pwede yun. Yung pangalawa, yun nga, hinatid ka ba or sinundo ka ni Aga from class? Or to class? Oh. Hindi rin oh. totoo. O, oh, so, hindi totoo. No, but, hindi rin totoo yung helicopter kasi may nag-landing na, na helicopter sa yun din. <laughs> yung kapatid ko. Yun din. Pero, Cholo, of course, you would all remember Mikey dun sa uniform niya sa campus. no It's a white oh. shirt and the jeans. Sadya yun, Mike. Yeah. You know what? Okay, ang uniform ko sa campus was um, yung, yung Hanes yung na six-pack. Diba? Yes, yes, yes. Who's good, who's good? Tapos, tatlo yung shorts ko. Denim, okay. black, tsaka khaki. Okay. Tapos, dalawa yung shoes ko. Okay. Yung Doc Martens na brown, tsaka yung yeah. Doc Martens na black na mid-cut. Okay. So, hindi ko kailangan, well, nag- kailangan ko pa rin mag-decide anong shorts at anong shoes ang susutin ko ngayon. Kasi I really didn't have the patience to decide on what I'm going to wear. And in fact, nung nag-SK ako, si Ogi nag-concert sa Tarlac um, as a fundraiser for me. Eh, hindi niya nadala yung shoes niya. So, sunod niya pa yung shoes ko, yung brown ko na Doc Martens, sunod ka niya. Buti na lang dala ko kasi galing ako sa school. <laughs> Lagi ko sinasabi kay Ogi, naging kaibigan ko siya dahil sa'yo. Kasi... <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no. Of course, she, he was there during uh, during a freshman orientation. Yun yung nag-start pa lang siya. Na, nandun na si Ogi. Pero naging mas kaibigan ko siya dahil siya yung ano, third wheel niya ni Aga. <laughs> During that. Yeah, may mga ganon. May mga ganong ano pala. May mga ganong mga perception pala. Oh, oh, oh. No, pero ito na. Mike's rule. Well, because you were going into your your marriage also, no? Di ba ang ganda lang na tipong, oh, did you ever think na si Dodot, you'd, you'd really end up with Dodot? Kasi parang grabe, parang pinaglaruan din kayo ng Diyos. Kasi Dodot Actually, was, was with Charlene. Before, former girlfriend. Tapos ikaw, no, well... Nakasubis mo talaga. Na, 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 No, Charlene was ano UST. UST. Si Dodot. Si Dodot. I don't know. Two batches ahead. No, ahead that's not not right, even right, just right. not even just that. Dodot hmm. went to CSA. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Hindi kami nagmeet. Tapos okay. nag Ateneo siya. Hindi rin kami nagmeet. Although sabi uh-huh. niya, sabi niya ganun ganyan ka kayabang. na nag-meet tayo pero hindi mo matanda. Yes, okay, <laughs> no, pero nandun kayo at the time when you wanted some permanence, I guess, no? Parang yung yung iba na iba ng class. Well, you know what? All I all I know is that um that God didn't let me notice him in college if if <laughs> if we were introduced because I still maintain that we did not meet although uh-huh. he, he's insisting that we met exactly okay. because we were meant to meet more After. significantly later on Angeling. and you know if i look at who the ex the excess of the that are <laughs> i'm in really really good company okay so I'm just sorry for that. my husband has good taste okay based, of on, his, based on his excess di ba? okay and, you see and alga was had become one of my best friends okay you know, because Because hindi nga naging kami, kasi sabi ko sa kanya, sabi ko sa kanya, alam mo, um, masyado, masyado kitang mahal para sagutin ka. Kasi kilalang kilala kita. What a line! <laughs> oh, <nga. laughs> we, we became such good friends eh. After, yes. right? Mahal na yung mga true mo, friendship ha? talaga, mga lifelong friends. Hindi mahal na love ha? hindi mahal oh. na love. Because sabi ko sa kanya, I don't want to hate you. And, Probably every girl that became your girlfriend hates you. That's so, <laughs> so sabi ko sa kanya, <laughs> mas maganda na na maging magkaibigan tayo. Okay. Para, para, para we'll always be friends. Pero pag naging tayo, I will end up hating you. Alam ko na yun. Ang galing. Uh, Pero did you ever have double dates now that you're married with Charlie oh, and Aga? No. Tapos kayo ni Dota? Never. Walang ganong chance. Kami, hindi kami nagchuchempo because because our kids uh, went to rent. Diba? Yes, yes. Tapos um, si Andres and Raph and Robbie first and then Raph later on. Kasi mm-hmm. in between and the batch niya kasi si Raph. Oo. They're very close. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, palagi kami nagkikita sa school. Pero, ah. pero hindi kami hindi kami nakaka ano na social na hindi hmm. kami nakaka get together na social Pero okay na rin lang parang at least yon na, na meet yung mga partners nyo at the time na talagang iba na yung needs nyo sa buhay di ba so All you can say is that hmm. God has a sense of humor <laughs> Because <laughs> because Um, even if Brent is a small school, hindi naman kailangan na maging mag-best friend si Andres tsaka si Raph, pero naging mag-best friend sila. Ibang klase. Kaya si Raph, si Andres ang nagkahatid kay Raph, usually pa uwi. So, I mean, you know what? Um, whatever whatever it is, I think that if we... It's just, life is good, you know? That's good. That's good. So, yeah. Yeah. And then it represented the best parts of your youth. Ano <laughs> ang ganda lang na tipong may babalikan kayong ganong history na tipong ay ang ganda pati hindi kayo nagwala. <laughs> hindi sa buhay niyo, di ba? <laughs> Yon. Anyway, well, tying it up with your family life, Mike's. Um, ano yung roles niyo ni Dodot, for example? Are you the uh, ikaw yung hampas or sampal? 
siya yung siya yung haplos sa sino sino yung ganun di ba may ganun di ba the good cop and bad cop alam niya na may ganun ngayon ko lang narinig yan i learned something from you again today. yung good cop and bad cop <laughs> yung tipong kasi hindi pwedeng sabay kayong nagagalit dapat merong isang pupuntahan pag nag pag merong disagreement with the other parent well, may for for one thing we always um we we never contradict each other ah okay Yeah, okay. we never contradict each other with the kids, and um, uh, I think the kids have a different relationship with each one of us and the two mm-hmm. of us together. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. depende kung ano yung topic, kung sino yung lalapitan nila. Mm-hmm. Tapos um, iba rin yung pag kaming dalawa na. So okay. I don't think that I don't. I, I maybe if you ask them. They will say it depends on the topic. Kasi okay. may mga topics na mas passionate ako, na mas Galing. strict ako. Si Dot, ganun din. Galing. Baka Cholo will identify with this. You play favorites? Or meron yung tipong may affinity na mas malapit sa'yo, kunyari, yung isang anak, then the topic other one. Topic dependent is din. Ah, topic dependent din. Okay, okay, okay din naman. Like Robby, for example, si Robby, Um, pag kailangan kung pag may kailangan akong puntahan, he'll say, oh, mommy, I'll drive for you. Ang galing. So, syempre, may bonding, may bonding moment okay. with, with Raph because of his personality. If you're in the same room together, tapos hindi siya yung nagmamadaling umalis, victory na yun. <laughs> okay. Ang See, galing. So, naman, if you're, if he's having a discussion with you about how to build a keyboard or how to upgrade his 3D printer or something like that. So I think it's it's also what's important to them. Mm-hmm. Ano yung importante sa kanila? Youngest is what? 12? 12. 12, 12 years old. No? Cholo, ikaw, youngest is? 16. 16. Ayan na. Oh, yeah. Tumatanda na tayo. two girls. But, oh, wow. Ayan na. At siya naman, three boys. But Uh-oh. Mike, are you ready na kunyari, yung kunyari may buhay ng sarili yung mga anak nyo that eventually... Yun, may iwan kayo ni Dot together. Mm, I I'm praying that we have made and natatawa ako kasi parang feeling ko hindi. I'm praying <laughs> that we made our home and our family life happy enough that they will want to always come back. A confident. Hindi, hindi. I, I'm praying hard okay, because I okay. don't think. <laughs> okay. kasi, kasi gaya nun kami, ako at least, I was very happy at home. Kaya yung mga Sunday dinner, kailangan magkasama, it's not a chore. It's, it's something that I look forward to. So sana sila, um, pag oh. may sarili-sarili na silang pamilya, ganun din sila. Although, parang feeling ko my parents were much, much two million times better parents than I am. So, we'll see. Ang galing. Pero yun niya, parang the ultimate test will be your parang trying to win with your with your kids. Yung tipong I think ano naman, ah, Cholo, di ba, parang ano, parang siguro ko, how old is your eldest, Cholo? Ayan na. Uh, she's 22. Junior, college na. Grabe, no? Okay. O, tw- Ayaw, sayo. o turning 22. Ay, yes, she's a junior psych. Oh, yeah. Ah, really? Yeah. Cool, cool. Parang, parang kasi ano eh, kumbaga sa, kumbaga sa pregnancy, di ba? <laughs> uh, you're, you're, you find out you're pregnant, you're happy, you're excited, and then through the pregnancy, you're, you're, nervous, you don't know what to expect, and then you don't know what you're gonna do with the baby, and then mm-hmm. after that, ang laki-laki ng tiyan mo, ang bigat-bigat ng tiyan mo, uh-huh. gusto mo nang ilabas yung baby, hindi bale na, na hindi ko alam kung anong gagawin sa'yo, pero mas okay na yun, kesa yung... Nasa iyo, yeah. Oo, uh, yung gano'n, no? So, I think the design is such that you're ready. You yes. will you, yes. you, know, you will be brought to the point where you're ready for the next stage. Okay. Galing, galing. Parang OJT lang naman yan, di ba? On the job in training. And takay, well, <laughs> ayun, parang life has equipped you with a lot of like lessons and values na kakayanin nyo. Pero yun na nga, parang the next stage will always be, yun nga, Cholo, you'll be with Gladys lang and then your children will be 
um on on their own tapos iba yung trust nga will is not always yung pag nandiyan katabi mo eh. yun po yung meron ka na pwedeng pakawalan sila so kaya niyo na ba yun or sana hindi pa well hindi pa talaga nag-aaral <laughs> pa eh di ba okay. they're, they're still dependent kasi okay. wala pa naman silang trabaho nag-aaral can you say pa can you say mike you're you're becoming the mom that your mom was to you also No, not really. Because my okay. mom, my mom, my parents, uh, hindi ko ma-imagine na ako sasabihin ko, oh sige, 16 years old ka, sumakay ka ng aeroplano mag-isa mo, titira ka sa bahay ng isang Australiana na hindi namin kilala para gumaling ka sa pagsakay ng kabayo. Ah, talaga? And okay. I did that every year, twice a year. Sam break, summer, You know, I can't imagine telling my kids, oh sige, sumakay ka ng aeroplano, mag-isa. <laughs> sa airport, mag-isa, mag-check in ka, mag-isa. Yung ganon, di ba? Uh, uh, but my parents were like that with me. Mm-hmm. I traveled uh, in high school and in college, maybe once every two months to compete abroad. Mm-hmm. Hindi naman mm-hmm. siya ako masama eh. Yung mom ko, sasama siya. Kunyari, first time namin pumunta to mm-hmm. one country. Mm-hmm. Pero pag nandun na kami, Parang wala siya because she doesn't interfere. She doesn't get in my way. We have a coach. We follow the program of the coach. Okay. And then when the competition is done, my mom will say, oh, nakausap ko na yung parents ng teammates mo na we will stay an extra day so that you can see the local sites. Para uh-huh. may matutunan uh-huh. naman tayo about the country that you visit. Yeah. Yeah. Yung ganon, yung ganon. No? That's how my mom is. Even up to now, she's she's uh her sense of adventure is still very strong. Or takot ka because of the times. Mas takot ka because of yun. Sabi mo nga, ang daming temptations. Maybe, maybe, okay. but also maybe also because hindi ko naman nakita sa kanila yung they're in pursuit of something. Ah, uh, not yet. No. Okay. Yes. Yes. So maybe if they had focus on something in particular that had these. Uh, a potential for you know something um then then maybe pero wala naman silang pinakitang yes. interest in anything in particular that would have necessitated that like you did when you were younger no well of course I'd like to think I'd like to think. <laughs> yeah. So, alam, question. Well, you just rattle off with all these questions. Isa lang, Mike, because we're going to the sports part na. Um, so, matutuloy yung Sigi, uh, yung, ano, no, yung Tokyo Olympics. Yes. Yes. So, what preparations? Well, ito may kasamang sumbong, di ba? Na after Sea Games dito, parang, Mike, yung mga atleta natin, pinauwi na sa mga probinsya nila kasi wala nang pang-subsidize sa kanila. You're aware of that. Yes, but at the same time, um, it's 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 also different when you transition to sport administration because you have to also realize kung ano ba talaga yung mga realities. For That's example, true. but sila pinauwi? Hindi lang naman dahil sa subsidy, pero dahil may pandemia. Correct, 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 correct. So, you know, at a certain point, no matter what is the focus of the of my work, of of my life, Um, I try sports is my biggest probably advocacy at the yes. moment. Um, as much as it's my priority, there are other priorities like life, like health. That's like, true. That's, diba? that's true. And um, pagdating ng panahon ng pandemia, hindi mo naman iisipin na uh, ang businessman, kailangan ganito pagtrato. Ang, ang atleta, ganito. Ang politiko, ganito. Hindi that's eh. True. Because... We all have to save lives. You know, we all have to be part of the solution, and if the solution that our government, who we have no choice but to follow, mm-hmm. is this. This is their strategy. So, kailangan natin si Manod. Na iingit ba ako sa mga ibang bansa na mas mabilis silang makapag um, na, na, nakapag organize ng mga sarili nila <laughs> so that their athletes. Um, That's true. That's true. Yes, of yeah. course. But yeah. you know, um, it's it's um, it, it's the reality, and I pray that now that there is um, there 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 is focus from mm-hmm. the sporting authorities in the country mm-hmm. to qualify more athletes for the Olympics and for. 
the SEA Games um, athletes to be better prepared, that they will have the support for it. Because <laughs> our sports officials have the technical knowledge. <laughs> but even us, even even for example, equestrian, <laughs> um, hindi kami kasama sa next SEA Games because hindi sinama ng host country. Just <laughs> like the Philippines didn't include it in the last yeah. SEA Games. Yeah. But... Um, Let's see us. May natural social distancing naman kami eh. And yes, yet, we're still yes. not allowed to have yes. events because there's a general rule that we cannot. So, give us an idea, Mike, of the preparations for the Tokyo Olympics. Well, we have three athletes at the moment that are officially qualified. And I believe mm-hmm. there's still uh, over... If I have it, if, if my memory serves me well, maybe 20 to 40 more that are, are still vying to qualify. And okay. even qualifying um, competitions are also either delayed or canceled yes, because, yes. Of, because of this current COVID situation. So, so how will that be? You will be there in Tokyo I'll by June, Japan. Tokyo. You'll be flying also. Mm-hmm. So, ano yun? Bibigyan ng bakuna yung mga athletes? Bago pumunta. The, there are other countries na vaccinated na yung athletes nila because their athletes yes. were prioritized and yes. of course yeah. Congress passed a bill na our athletes would also be prioritized Good. because we would probably have a delegation of about 100 for mm-hmm. Tokyo. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, the SEA Games athletes kasama din sila dun sa, dun sa batas na yon or sa bill na yon. And there were a lot of mixed reactions, you know. There were some yeah, reactions yeah. that were positive and some reactions that were not, which is anticipated even by the athletes, the global mm-hmm. athletes. There mm-hmm. are the athletes all over the world. Ah, mixed feelings then sila whether or not they should be seen as a priority for it. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What we know naman is that um, actually vaccination is protection for the person that was vaccinated. That's true. Not for the people around you, but more for yourself. Nevertheless, the more people that are vaccinated before going to these multi-sport events, mm-hmm. at least you would think that these people, you will worry less about these people. Galing. Well, at least, yun, at least there's an assurance na matutuloy yung, yung Tokyo Olympics this year. Sabi ko kung Miss Universe nga matutuloy dalawang beses this coming year, no? Parang yata ito yung talagang pinaghandaan ng, ng Japan. Not just Japan. And, and, the the and focal the point budget. here yes. are the athletes. Because yes. you have some athletes na time-sensitive than yung sports nila. You have That's some true. athletes That's who true. have dedicated their lives to becoming Olympians and that's true. If we had just decided na, ah, I cancel na to, ano mangyayari sa kanila? Oh, never oh have that chance. Parang nawala na lang sa kanila yun. And Uh-oh. first and foremost, it's really for, for these athletes that we're really, you know, pushing everything to the limit for us to be able to go on with the Olympics this year. So wag kang magkakasakit. Wag kang magkakasakit. By Wednesday again, June, July? July. July. July 23 yung opening ceremony. Okay. Chala, chala, game. It's good news. Yeah. Uh, wala na dun pa ako sa ano mo eh, sa yung parenting uh, <laughs> styles. <laughs> okay. I love it. I can really, I can really, ano, uh, relate uh, as a parent myself of two grown kids. Ay, ayan. Uh, si Maxine is here with us. Ayan, para na may voice. No, Matt, na thank to, you again. Uh, Hi. Hi, Maxine. Hi, everyone. This is Maxine. Max is the pamangkin of, ano, of Panji. Oh, okay. oh, really? I didn't know that. Wow, kilala ko pala. Ang auntie mo. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, okay. rin siya. So Max, Max is a student. Max, you can ask Mikey anything. But then, yun nga, sa parenting, nag- nagkita si, si Chola at yes. Mikey. Kasi... So did, did any of your kids take up your, your sport? No, oh, I only do that. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. Why? Why? Bakit? <laughs> sabi niya, sabi niya, masyadong maraming taon ang mababawas sa buhay niya having to watch more than one family oh. all over. So sabi niya, pumili ka na lang sinong sasakay ng kabayo, ikaw or sila. E di sabi mo, syempre ako, di ba? <laughs> oh, wow. That's nice. Max, go! Shoot your question kay Mikes. 
All right. Okay. So you might be used to getting questions like this, but a while ago you mentioned that in particular pursuits, it's nice to ask someone who has achieved who has achieved res experience things in that realm. So, what advice can you give us students on finding our goals and passions and reaching them like as early as now, like while we're still students? Well, I think Maxine that. First, you should try your best also to figure out what your gifts and what your talents are. Mm -hmm. um, and then what you enjoy. Sometimes it's not the same thing. And, um, <laughs> and that, that poses a challenge. But you know what? When, there, when you love something, um, you could be just as good. You can, because even no matter how talented someone is, if they don't develop that talent into a skill, it will always just be a talent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And those are for the people who are gifted. I know so many people who did not have the talent, mm -hmm, but, mm -hmm. but did even better and became mm -hmm. more su successful than the people who were talented. That's true. That's so, true. So I think those are the two main questions that you have to answer. And sometimes those are the two hardest questions in life to answer. <laughs> Totoo diba? naman. Pero um, I think if you focus on that, uh, on doing what you enjoy, then work doesn't become work because it mm -hmm. becomes something that you enjoy. And mm -hmm. then if you're blessed enough that what you love doing is what you are good at doing, then no one can stop you. But you have to be patient. Diba Cholo, ganyan yung dapat naririnig nating host sa TV. <laughs> you put it really well, Mike. So sabi ko, you should, you should host your own show. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Wait, my, my, my wife works for Metro Channel. You want the show? Sabi ko, ito ko lang kayo. Ito ko lang kayo. Ito ko lang kayo, I promise. Well, I, yeah. I will put you on top of the list. Lovely. If I have any influence on my wife. <laughs> Watch out for that. I'm like, amazing by this. Yes, so yes. Mike, see, uh, this is part of our Women's Month celebration. No? Parang um, yung pagiging babae mo ba dun sa industries na pinasok mo, naka-apekto or makikita mo pa rin may ganong inequality dun sa systems na, na, na dinaanan mo. Kunyari, well, in show business for example, did it work to your advantage na babae ka or nakikita mo pa rin na yung people who are in control are mostly guys pa rin and sports dun sa isang, dun sa isang mundo mo? Hmm. I don't know how to say this because I would like to respect the struggle that many women have yes, yes. gone through and that many women continue to go through because there are really, um, there are so many women that are discriminated upon. Yeah. But also, um, I was born into a family that wala kong kapatid na lalaki, apat ang kapatid na lalaki. <laughs> and the mother that all of us have strong personalities and all of us are unique and yeah. we are aware of and embrace that uniqueness. Mm -hmm. And then I happen to choose a sport where men and women compete equally against each other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So growing up, um, even if there was discrimination, I have to say that I just ignored it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because because I could. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because um, I feel like mas na experience ko yung discrimination when I was when I paid more attention to it. Aha, uh -huh. good, good. Kung napapansin ko siya, mas mas na mas na hihila ko pa baba. Okay. And I and I realized that because my father was also probably the strongest presence at <laughs> that it's not a problem yeah because at the end of the day everything that i saw that was successful around me every success even that i had mm -hmm. wasn't done only with a single gender that's around. true that's true because it always takes a team yeah. And that team normally always had men and women. Dun sa sports, Mike, because since you're the first daw Filipino Asian. I'm the member, first Asian woman. First Asian woman no? oh, yes. in the sports committee, the, the Olympics yeah. committee. No? So, kumusta standing up with the men there? 
you know, it's it would be quite surprising to a lot of people, but I've gotten so much support ah, okay. from from the men. Okay. Uh, I I I feel like um, there are so many forward-thinking men in the IOC, mm-hmm. even okay. if the IOC is known na parang ano siya, ano God, parang old gentleman's club. Yes, you need to yes, mention yes. IOC, eh? And yes. in a in, in a lot of ways, it's true. But there are so many of those men. Na pag tinignan mo sila, you're going to type cast them as that kind of person. Mm-hmm. But you see, when we ask for a chance. Uh-huh. We should also give the chance to them. That's true. Because I've been mentored by people who you would not expect to be mentors of a young in their in their eyes. I'm I'm old in the eyes of Maxine, but to them <laughs> they're so much older. To them I'm young, a young Asian girl. Uh huh. Uh-huh. They are happy to mentor me. Galing. Because Galing. I'm. Because I, I also want to be mentored by them. Mm-hmm. There's no way. There's no way. I understand in the freshness and the energy of youth. But mm-hmm. there is no way mm-hmm. that history and the mistakes of history, even recent history, will not repeat itself if you That's... do not have someone with the wisdom that has experienced it before to say why it did not work before, but why it mm-hmm. might work now. Such a good student of anumang gender. Galeng. Cholo game. Um, matapos, matatapos na tayo. Last words for Mikey. Or any other question or any other, well, insight. I'm just happy to see you again, Mike. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, it's really an, an, an honor and a privilege to, uh, no, to be uh, on a show with you. So uh, I just wish you all more success. All the more success. I mean, tayo, tayo. I guess we're at the stage in our lives now na we look at our kids to carry on the good that we are trying to to put out in this world. Diba? That we are trying to. As you age and hopefully we're, we're, we are aging gracefully, uh, our legacy is something that we are slowly building. So I'm just happy that I think you you've, uh, you turned out fine. Your kids are doing well. And uh, you're definitely putting out a, a big impact to, to the world. So uh, more power to you, Mikey. Galing, galing. Yun. Um, I no, want to just wanna respond to Cholo um, <laughs> and say that it, I find it so parang parang nangliliit ako, nakinikilig ako na hindi ko maintindihan because in college of course we were like looking up to Cholo, di ba? Ano ba yun? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Recorded ba to? <laughs> oh, no, but the thing here is yun na nga, oh, he's doing the things we've always wanted to do and it's remained to do it consistently. Nandyan pa rin siya sa campus. So, so at least yun. Tinama- tinamaan nga ako doon sa sinabi ni Mikey na some people who are talented but didn't really work for it, you know, you won't really get it. I, I guess maski paano, Diba? I mean, you knew me, Mikey, back in the day when, you know, I was kind of trying to get out there also. But I found out that there are more things, I guess, more important than than fame and celebrity. But it, it's really just making sure that you are the best, you you yeah. know, put out the best uh, in what whatever you are meant to do at a certain point in your life. So now I'm just working in school, but I'm, try, I'm trying my best. Yes. So I'm hoping that I leave, uh, you know, I leave a mark. You know, man, yeah, that's all you hope for in this world. Just leave a, leave a mark. Yeah. I can't so, even say that it's just because Maxine probably would be able to say how much someone in school influences and we all experience true. as that's well. True. You know, yeah. so uh, even the things that I'm saying, even if I sound confident in what I'm saying, it's not because I've achieved everything. It's also because I've failed at more things than I've achieved. So, you know, we, we, I think we just can't be afraid to make a mistake. We can't be afraid to fail because we can always get back up. The best athletes probably have lost more than they have won. Galing, galing. The, 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 that's what I, that's what, um, Sigura for, for today's generation, don't be afraid to make a mistake. mistake. Don't be afraid to fail. Galing. You know, um, I, Para, para sa akin, um, the biggest, biggest um, strength, strength or blessing or whatever that I have is faith. And 
you have to grow your faith because in faith there is hope yeah. in faith there is um everything has a reason when you have faith a failure has a reason a success is more um to be more savored when you have faith because a success doesn't become only yours That's but it true. becomes shared and the reason you share your faith is because when you have faith you have joy getting that's why you want to share it not because gusto mong ipilit yung gusto mo or gusto getting, mong getting. ipilit yung yung sa tingin mo tama it's not that it's just because we want to share the joy recurring yan cholo no yung not not to not to be afraid to commit mistakes na, oh, yes. na, na reminder yan pero Mike uh, ito kaya niyo na ba ni Cholo kunyari kung ang nagkakaroon ng mistakes yung mga anak ninyo or you'll be there to like okay like uh, or, ano ako na lang or parang you'll caution them enough or you'll be more controlling you will always caution them but their yes. mistakes have to be their own uh-huh. and um and especially when when they're younger and when the mistakes have less consequences <laughs> that's when dapat we will allow them to make mistakes kaya din yung mga anak ko ang dami-dami nilang mga pekla ang dami nilang mga <laughs> because you have to let them and i hope Maxine that okay lang yung pekla sa braso pero yung mga pekla sa puso so <laughs> 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 Yan ang solong kilala ko. Yan ang solong. No, no, <laughs> wala ang asin. Yung mga may gusto ko tanongin, pero, well, Mike, kanino ka, kanino, sino mas crush mo nung college? Si Jimmy ba si Johnny? Wow, hirap na lang. <laughs> <yung man. laughs> mas si Johnny, <laughs> di ba sabi mo? Ha? Mas si Johnny, di ba? Johnny, diba? classmate ko. Classmate ko, oo nga. Ah, yeah, okay. Pero walang si Jimmy, ganyanan, walang ganyanan. Mag- Kasi Jimmy yung nanligaw sa'yo sa college. Walang pero si Jimmy, sa akin sa kanila. <laughs> ah, wala ba? Pumarma lang? Hindi ko nanligaw. So, ano ano inside story nun? Ay, hindi. Ay, hindi. Ay, hindi. Ano ang problema eh. Yan ang problema kasi. <laughs> alam mo, isa sa mga kanta. <laughs> pero wait, Mikey, you do know that si Jimmy composed a song for you, right? Yeah, isang kanta yeah. para sa'yo. Oh, don't Jimmy look away ba yun? Right? Oh, alam mo, of course. Yeah. Yung kaharian. Ahanapin ko yan. In my memory banks, ha? Huh? Ah, kaharian yeah. sa'yo yun? Diba? Kaharian. Right, kaharian. At kung ikay pilay gamitin mo akong sakit. Yes, yes. Ay, gano'n. Alam ko rin, Mike. Gano'n. Pero, pero meron kang kinanta. No. Yes. So, it's you. That, but nag-duet-duet pa kayo, di ba? Oo. Don't go away. Oo. Oh, oh, no, I think... I have pictures. I have your pictures of that. I will send them to you. Ha, 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 ha. Cool, cool. No, pero pero nahirapan siya pagpili kay Jimmy at Johnny. Ano ba? Ako naman kasi ako papipiliin. Ang tagal-tagal mo mo. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, huwag, huwag mong pag-awayin yung magkapatid. Ay, hindi naman sila nag-aaway doon. Natutuwa lang yun pag, pag pinag-uusapan. Hindi naman sila nang ligaw. Pero yun din apparently was a problem with me because may mga nagsabi sa akin, may marami, I, I felt like I was one of the guys. And in one yeah, yeah, yeah. one or two instances, in front of one of them, sinabi ko, eh hindi, hindi naman ako niligawan yan. Sabi ko, oh, hindi, niligawan kita, ha? <laughs> Siyempre ako parang, regret. parang, okay, legal, legal na pala yun. Sabi ko, kala ko naman, mabait ka lang sa akin kasi mabait lang tao pala, legal na yun, di ba? No, parang sinasabi mo sa anak mo, kailangan lahat articulated. Hindi <laughs> naman. <laughs> Dapat lahat <laughs> sinasabi. Naman. Well, anyway, Cholo, salamat. Thank you, thank you. Max, Max, last word. Last word to Mike. Sorry, what? Hindi ka na naiintindihan. <laughs> last words and message kay Mike, Max. All right. So, thank you Miss Mikey for to, for today. Actually, I learned a lot and your last your last answer to me was very inspiring. So, I definitely got something from this afternoon. I was actually watching from the beginning. And to end things on a light note, I just wanted to ask, what are you looking forward to after the pandemic? Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Mike's ito, kunyari, the women leaders really did well, no? Um, leaders from Vietnam, New Zealand, Germany, di ba? Parang ganun. Ang, meron ganong strength na sa tingin ko, kayong mga babae, <laughs> we're able to like 
handle the pandemic really well. You you've become so productive during the pandemic. Sabi mo nga na nagkaroon ka pa ng talk show ngayong <laughs> may may pandemya. So what is it about women leaders and what do you look forward to after? I think looking um, looking at the pandemic and seeing how women leaders have been more successful at dealing with the pandemic is just um, it should be the only proof we need about why women should be in decision making positions. That's true. That's Even true. if they're not the top, just for women to be at the table where decisions are being made uh, already adds so much. That's true. Uh, because women bring a different perspective as men. And not to say that one is more important than the other, but in certain mm-hmm. situations, maybe one is better than the other. <laughs> and we just have to learn how to take turns. That's true. That's true. Um, as for what I'm looking forward to after the pandemic, you know, um, I love to eat. So I was almost going to say maybe going to a restaurant again, but mm-hmm. my husband is such a good cook that... It's like we're eating restaurant quality food for every meal. Um, so um, I think I, I I miss my my I miss I miss being outside of the house with my family. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I miss going to any place where I'm not thinking of work or my to do list. Yes. Um, and I just want to enjoy. Not wearing a mask <laughs> when I go out of my Pero paano house. Yun, a lot of your pictures, I miss ko ngayon, yung mga travel pictures nyo. So you've always been traveling. Yan yung, yan yung way mo para, ano, para yung leisure. No? So um, that's a topic. Actually, I have, to, I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to, ano, um, maybe share this. Kasi uh-huh. yung travels namin, matagal kami hindi nakapagbiyahe. Uh-huh, okay. um, because because it's not cheap to travel. It's very That's expensive true. to travel, That's especially true. when you when you've had positive experiences traveling. Gusto mm-hmm. mo may experience mo yon kasama ng pamilya mo. Yes, you know? yes. So we we want to build memories like that with our yes, kids. Yes, yes. But it's not cheap kasi lima kami. Um, so so the trips are very special. Mm-hmm. And more often than not, we try to time it along with a work trip of mine. Kaleng. So you're bringing them to Japan? Well, they okay. normally would go with me to Japan because Kaleng. I'm part of the Coordination Commission. So every year we would travel to, to Japan. And then, and then um, so syempre, libre na yung plane ko. Kaleng, kaleng, kaleng. So it helps. You know, we also try to find ways. It's not just a matter of gusto gawin. Mm-hmm. We also have to be practical, and I think that's one of the one of the tricks that social media plays on our minds is that mm-hmm. we can just go and do um, whatever we want. It doesn't show the struggle of how kailangan mo magito, bago ka makakain sa ganito, sa ganyan, or de ba? So you know, I think we have to keep reminding ourselves of that because we because building memories is the most important part of of the things that we we do and um for us to to um be able to appreciate the smaller things will make us happier people ang galing mike's mm-hmm. we've run out of time who's there rob yeah pabalik na sa pagkananay hello rob hello atinian smile oh, naman hello you too hello 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 hello, hello. hello. so we see the next generation kwan ko jorski will be like um trying to affect us in media i hope and sports is it, does he play sports yeah he does but um he's a business minded person ah that's good too <laughs> that's yeah. good too well so exploring okay okay but um no leadership position sa next elections because we oh yeah not not you no oh, hindi, not hindi pa do not, not no or the family or anyone in the family because parang parang people are crying for change and then parang okay a different kind of perspective after what we've gone through i think i think um i don't know because marami akong sinabi before that i won't do this i won't do that and then i ended up in showbiz i ended up doing all sorts <laughs> so i'm never gonna say 
never. But in the next election, I know that I am not the Miran. Mm -hmm. And um, my dream, my dream for the Philippines is that um, we're going to stop wanting change because That's we're finally going to be satisfied with the path that we we're have. on. And then we are going to want to have a leader that's going to continue us on a good path. Rather and, than, and bring the goodness no, out of every one of yes. us. You bring the best out of each of them. Nice. And thank you. And thank you, Mike. Thank you for this afternoon. Ibang klase, no? Parang, ha, it, it, iba na yung pag-connect ng mga tao, yung may recollections of the past. Pero um, may, may isang perspective na or may, may kakaiba, circumspect, may mga qualifiers na tayo, hindi na absolute ang mundo, yeah. may, may tamang konteksto. But yon, ganun pa rin. Mike, cargo kita sa Diyos at cargo kita palagi. Yun, pinagdadasal kita at maraming salamat. Thank you, Tatang. Thank, thank you, you for this chance today and it's so nice to meet you Maxine Galing. and go for your dreams thank you, thank you. I will and then you know but go for your dreams and then let let the Lord lead you no parang kasi wala ka namang pinuntahan Mike's na hindi mo inasahan nung una di ba parang hindi mo talaga inasahan lahat ang pinagpuntahan mo pero you're okay you're without okay. him I am nothing and I have not been able to achieve anything without first wanting to do it because I want to glorify Him. Ang galing. Yan, Mike, yung gusto ko sa Real Talk. For you to end it, for you to end it the personal na personal note, tell them, after yung preacher, dapat mag-i-end sa inyo. Ang galing yung pastor mo, Nick, eh. It's so hard to no. no, kayo yung gaga, Kayo yung gagawa nun para ipakita na kaya yun gawin sa totoong buhay. Yung tipong gano'n, in your, kasi mortal, mortal tayo. Pero in Bakit the, may pastor mo, you should be mortal. <laughs> <laughs> no, parang, yun, yun, you're, we're all living witnesses. And yun, parang tayo yung pagpatototoo na kahit may struggle, we're all wounded, but we'll, we're all wounded healers. Yung tipong gano'n. Maraming salamat. We'll continue leveling up. Maraming salamat, Max. Maraming salamat. Mike and Cholo, thank you for joining us also. Until next week, maraming salamat. Bye-bye. Ang sa- All caps, mga atinista, it's time to level up! Your talk variety program showcasing the best in media and other fields as we feature the most loved personalities and the best practices of what we truly refer to as Magis. Together with multi-awarded multimedia guru, Mr. Noel Ferrer, let's all level up every Fridays from 3 to 6 p.m. here on Radyo Katipunan 87.9 FM Let's go!